Right, my people thank you very much thank you thank you thank you uh mr ike jude uh thank you very much i can see you already and i'm at patricia Tabujumi. i can see you already thank you very much and uh mr felix i can see you already as well thank you thank you my good people let me quickly take you guys in right away uh good man i cannot see you good man please um turn on your camera so i'll see who is right there good man okay good man you need to talk on your camera i believe this is your first time on this panel we need to be sure who is behind the camera okay you left okay because you you need to come back ghost power you didn't turn on your mic you're there you didn't turn on your mic okay before we do all this okay ghost power you done that okay um i'll accept you in now all right thank you very much my people before we accept more people in let's listen to this video you guys listen to um justice mary odiri right when she was giving a speech i don't know if you see what me see um that's justice do you guys think that she was forced to give that speech or do you guys think that she was blabbing while she was giving that speech? Do you notice anything like that? And yeah. do you guys also notice she was stammering? I was going to say that, Mr. Evans. Good evening. She was giving mm. that script to come and read. Okay. Was it from her? all right okay i thought i was the only one that noticed it but we are coming to that let's see the reaction of what arise after say about this and see the reactions of other people from our own outside our own platform then we take it from there press on the like button and help us to share god bless you all let's listen to this what's trending around the world let's begin what's trending retired supreme court justice mary odili delivered insightful remarks at a recent Abuja colloquium celebrating Joe Kiari Gazama, SAN's 25th anniversary as a senior advocate of Nigeria. Addressing the theme, The Nigeria of Our Dreams, A Call to Patriots, Justice Odili acknowledged the turbulence surrounding the 2023 elections while recognizing that feelings of loss and disappointment are natural in a democratic society. She firmly emphasized that actions that threaten national stability cannot be justified. She called for a commitment to resolving disputes through established legal channels such as electoral tribunals and the courts, rather than resorting to actions that could plunge the nation into turmoil. Let's take a look before we come back for reactions. It is no doubt appropriate that the theme is, quote, the Nigeria of our dreams, a call to the Patriots. I say so in the light of the prevailing situation in Nigeria as a result of the 2023 general elections, which has generated a lot of storm necessitating the conversation which we are about to indulge in. 
as there seems to be moves to draw the nation into chaos or conflagration. These may be brought about by some individuals and groups who fanning the ambers of hatred, bigotry, and, triba and tribalism fail to see the possible outcomes of the utterances without caution that are being thrown around. It is human to feel cheated or having the short end of a stick, but one who is not declared a winner at any of the electoral contests, such emotions, however grim, does not justify bringing the roof down, the roof of our nation. All right, so in that particular video that's been trending, obviously she also acknowledged the two um, councils of the President Tinubu um, team or camp, and that got a lot of reactions from people. Here's one of such reactions. JP says, very bad for former Justice Mary Odili to publicly praise Ola Nipekun and Fagwemi, who are representing Bola Tinubu and APC at the tribunal. For a former Supreme Court justice to be speaking on active case in court publicly is very worrisome. She can't bully Nigerians. Let's go straight to you, Rufai. What's yeah. your take on this? I mean, the, the video is longer, and she mentioned okay. a few so, things. So the yes, video is longer, so let's get a couple of things right. Number one, calling those people's name, I think they were there. Yes, they were. Event. She was acknowledging so, that. So she was acknowledging their presence there. So it's not, so I think that is out of place when you say, oh, and why should we acknowledge them? They no, are but there. she was praising their efforts, saying that they, you know, they, in, in cases, they are very successful. So that was part of no, the thing. No, but that apart say. from tribunal case, you can't dispute the fact that Latif Agumi has been a very successful lawyer in cases in this country. You can't also dispute the fact that Olani Pekin has done considerably well on cases in this country. Absolutely. All right, that's out of it. But for me, the part of the speech I did that didn't go down well with me is the fact that... Uh, People should not blackmail the judges. No, nobody's blackmailing the judges. People are just seeing all eyes on the judiciary. And it has to be stated. You see, we don't want our democracy to go all right. That's why we speak up. And it is a democracy, not a military government. That's the difference between a democracy and military government. And this is for those that are calling for a coup and military government. No, I say no, perish the idea. Because in a democracy, you can speak. But yes. in a military government, you can't speak. I mean, there are many copious stories of journalists jailed for doing their job in the military government, arbitrarily. Secondly, people have a right to say judges should please do their job according to the tenets of the law. Lord Denning once said, and I quote, that a judge that sits on trial, the judge himself is on trial, pure and simple. And the judge himself is on trial as regards the case of Nigeria. So we expect them to do right. She also talked about the part people ventilate their views. Yes. One other part we should also expect people to say is the fact that we have a lot of civilian coups happening. And we must have a country where we must constantly say no to electron fraud. Mm. It's because we take too many things likely in this country. And we're just thinking, was it good, the things that happened in the last election? That people went out to vote and electoral fraud happened? That foreign media like the BBC was showing us the shenanigans in Obiakbo results. Anyway, right. those are before the courts now. Yes. So we should introspect and be truthful with ourselves, what we yes. truly want from ourselves, All right. and what for our democracy. Mm -hmm. All right? She said some part of that, yeah, but that's, a, that's just a part of the speech I also want to clarify. I've been hearing next story in my ear, yeah, so we have I will wait to move on. This is the only story we're taking for There's today. There is nothing that Justice Mirio Dili said. I was out of place. She's a retired justice of the Supreme Court. As a retired judge, she's entitled to freedom of speech. People will say, oh, she was praising uh, APC lawyers. Well, Latif Fagbemi, SAN, is Attorney General of the Federation. He was at that event in his capacity as Attorney General of the Federation. The order of protocol, there's no way he could have been ignored by uh, a retired justice of the Supreme Court. Number two, Chief Wale Ola Onipekun is a legal icon in this uh, country. He was chairman body of benchers. Justice Mary Odili took over from him as chairman of the body of benchers. There's no way she will be in a public forum. She will. Ah, Abati, Abati, Abati. Kai God. Not acknowledge him. J.K. Gazama, S.A.M., in which or not the 
colloquium was held, he is himself a very prominent PDP lawyer. So that was not a partisan occasion. And as for what she said about people who are attacking the judiciary and all of that, a simple point is that people should respect the rule of law and allow the judiciary to do its work. And that those who are opposing the judiciary and trying to pull down the roof because they are aggrieved, if they pull down the roof, the roof will also fall on their own heads. It's just uh, pure common sense. So all that uh, titu tatu about uh, what Justice Mary O'Dilly said is completely out of point. And I don't think she said anything that is wrong. Yes, you know, we expect the judiciary to do its work. And whatever opinion she expresses, she is no longer a justice of the Supreme Court. She is free as a citizen to express her views. Other people are also free to hold their own views. Yes. And All right. Uh, thank you very much, my people. That one, uh, uh, I would like to take on reactions from other people outside Nigeria Watch before we start talking. You know, a lot of people have reacted to what is currently going on right now. Um, thank you very much, my people. For those of you that are just joining us right now, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. Let's start from here. As you can see, an educated person who cannot practice justice is worse than illiterate. Okay. Another one, my concern is that whomsoever the judges we pronounce winner should have a strong and visible reason. This one, Thief Odili will not go unpunished. See how she's stammering because it is a speech written and given to her. Tell her the roof will be brought down, starting from the judiciary. We are watching and waiting. Hmm. Like I said, this one, the verso. All right, we have another one here. Justice Mary Odili never said anything to condemn the actions of Asari Dokumbo, MC Oluomo, and other pro APC, pro tenable states and non-state actors. She should keep her advice to her. She should have advised the court to abide by the constitutional provisions in delivering judgment justice. Exactly. That last statement, I, to be honest, when I was listening to her, I was expecting her to say that at the end of a speech, because that one is very essential. She's supposed to say, finally, or Lastly, the judges, you know, to abide by the constitutional provisions in delivery their just judgments. She didn't say anything like that at all. At all. Ha, huh? what a country. They ought to say everybody now fools, right? All right, let me take this. What a corrupt, corrupt justice. Oh, delay all eyes on the cor uh, on corrupt judiciary. Hope they will do the right thing this time around. Then I have this person here. Abati can never see anything wrong, especially when the power that be is being supported by the contentious matter. Terrible journalists. Then I have this one here. Justice Odili decked in black. Eulogizing and mourning in advance. The calamity she knows that about or before Nigeria. Rest in peace, Nigeria. To God be the glory. Hmm. People with a verse for Nigeria plenty you. Kai. All right. I have another person here, Dr. Abati Abeksa. Seeing evil and refusing to call it evil is also evil. Someone woke up in the middle of the night while others were asleep. Announced result of his head. Asked the aggrieved to go to court. They were obedient enough to do so. The fact that this judge has a problem with that is despicable. <laughs> All right. I have another one here. The 2023 elections have helped to expose the good, the bad, the evil in Nigeria. It's left for the citizens to decide who is who. That speech by Justice Odili may come back to haunt her. Okay, Nigerians don't invest in advance. When is they never ever reach? Okay, we have another person here. Mark my word. 
these Supreme Court judges will toy the line of the government. APC will have their way with the judges. The last one. Mr. Abati always being economical and diplomatic with the truth. Currently, the roof has been pulled on the head of the masses. So the masses have nothing to worry about. You should be concerned about removing the roof entirely, whereby every soul will be left bare. One who is already on the ground fears no fall. Hi. Now, wow, people, they vest. Meanwhile, I would like to take on this from Twitter. This person saying here, let me take this off so that I can see properly. Okay, good. Sheun Ghazali Sadiq. INEC will ring elections in Nigeria, and the judiciary will affirm the rigging. Then the police and military will arrest, torture, and kill whoever dared to pro protest. This is what they call democracy, government of criminals, by criminals, and for criminals. Hi. And wow. When is they never reach? Men the verse. Seriously, men the verse. All right. Um, let me take on this article quickly here. Let me see if it's still important to take this article because it might be some of the things that we've talked about already. Okay, yes, this is very, very important. Now, the AP court orders workers, citizens, to, to sit at home on Wednesday. Why? Can somebody explain that to me? Why? How on earth? That day. Because now, from tomorrow, now, now, see army. The army will fool everywhere in Lagos and different states. Now, they are telling us to sit at home on that particular day. Meanwhile, let's take this together. You all can see the breaking happy court orders workers to stay at home for presidential tribunal ruling. Staff working at the court of appeal in Abuja have been directed to stay home on Wednesday, September 6, 2023. The day scheduled for judgment in the petition challenging the election of President Bola Tinubu, Politics Nigeria report that the chief register of the court, Oluwale Oluwashegun David, in memo, informed the staff that only those with tax would be allowed entry into the court premises. The memo said the measure was taken to create a conducive and peaceful atmosphere for the special sitting of the presidential election tribunal. The tribunal is hearing petition filed by Peter Obi of the Labour Party, Atiku Abubakar of the PDP and the Allied People Movement challenging the Tinubu's victory in the February 2023 presidential election. The memo said, in view, unquote, in view of the above, very strong security apparatus have been arranged to man the entrance of the court and also in all strategic areas of the court complex. In addition, all only staff with tax provided by the management will be allowed into the court premises. Please be informed as instructed. Okay, um, let's assume they are only focusing on their staff. I don't know. Because another article is also saying here that they are telling Nigerians to sit at home, but constitutionally, they don't have the right. All right? So, but meanwhile, let's move on. Let's move on, my people. All right. Like I said, we don't have much to present than to talk about this. It's very, very important because we'll be waiting for this day. Thank you very much, my people, for your time with us. Please press on the like button. Help us to share. Currently, the like is just 150. We have 700 people watching us. What's happening? What did they happen? Why would they talk on this like every day? Ah! Oh, wow. Eh? Eh, I don't understand. Just press the like. Eh? I don't understand. Sometimes, to be honest, it's difficult to understand. When we pray, we don't act. Sometimes it's difficult for the prayer to work. Yes, I understand many people pray for me. Yes, some people come in. God will bless you, Nigeria. Yes, amen. But have you pressed on the like? 
Have you shared the video? You know, let's help ourselves. It's very, very important. We cannot have about 700 people watching us and we have 150 likes. It's, it's not good. Every day we talk about it. But meanwhile, let's start hearing from the people right here with us. Thank you very much, my people. Press on the dollar sign. Support what we are doing here. God bless you all. I'll call on the first person on the panel, which is Mr. Ike. Mr. Ike Jude, it's good to have you here, sir. What is your take on all this? We all love being on this together. On Wednesday, is the is the D day? Please talk to us. Sir. Watch. Um, yes. Yes, sir. In fact, I was short of words. You know, we hear all this information at the end when you people have already heard it. We wake up like six hours behind you, and while I was sleeping, mm. I I I kind of thought. To say, what if these people decide labor have already said they were going on a warning strike? They said they were going to go on warning strike on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then they have put the judgment on Wednesday. Another thing, why is it that the president is going to India for G20 meeting? And then they are putting the judgments. I don't think he will be back before that judgment happens. How come they are deploying military everywhere? Is it that they already know their judgment is not going to be popular? How come they are using people to go and deliver speech that we are written? There is nothing there is nothing to show that that speech by Mrs. Sodeli was actually from Mrs. Sodeli. Nothing. Go and read it. Pastor Deboye has come to say that he believes in miracle that Naira will have the same value with dollar. It will not work if you don't work for it. It doesn't happen miraculously. Pastor Kumuyi has said this one. They have used all manner of people. There was a time Ngozi Okonje Wala came and did her own and left. All of this is, is to guard the people. They will see anybody that has followers. They will write something for the person to go and announce. So that at the end of the day, you will start thinking, are you sure we are not the, the problem? Are you sure we are not the problem? We would have done this, we would have done that. I saw a video of the Namibian president walking on the beach without any security. That's an example of somebody that was elected by the people. So if you are giving a popular ruling, why all of this? Why all of this? I mean, Mary Odile can as well acknowledge the presence of Olani Kwekru, um, the justice minister, without, a, without actually praising them. You can acknowledge their presence and move on. You see, I don't even know how this Wednesday would be like, sincerely speaking. One, the, the date. The announcement is very, very short. You can't even mobilize anything. Tomorrow is strike, warning strike. Wednesday, before you know what is happening, maybe before we wake up from here in the US, they would have given their ruling. Yes, I agree with you on that because they didn't give time. So there's every so, possibility they will give it at one minute past 12, as long as it already falls on, on the 6th. So you see? everybody must stay awake because they didn't give time. So it's going to be passed at any time. That's what I think. So so, so the fact is they want to say, just like they say, go to court when they announced the results. They will also tell you to go to Supreme Court that they have said what they want to say. They will push all of this evidence and say they don't hold water. They can even come out tomorrow to say that P2B was not qualified to run for this election. 
There is nothing we will not hear. There is nothing we have not heard from African leaders. But what this election has done is to divide the people for us. It's not going to be easy to throw away these people they have. They have a host, not a straw. You know you can have a straw on somebody and be sucking the person. But what these people have is host put on Nigeria. Not a straw. So, and they have been sucking, they have been drinking from this Nigeria for a long time. It's not going to be easy. We are going to fight for this. If we don't, this day will come and go like the day this announcement or the result was announced. I don't even know how people can mobilize their followers. Now, if you take any placard or any banner near that court, you will just be wasted. Because these judgments, these dates, they already know about it. They have known about this date. After all, we saved a lot of time when these submissions was being given. APC, Tinubu, and all of them took just one over eight of the time that was allocated to them to respond. So we had enough time for this judgment to be ready. But of course, we will not. They will not want to tell us so that we don't, we don't mobilize ourselves. But if you ask me, if you ask me, sincerely speaking, I think they will take us on our Wednesday more. So I think Tuesday night, that's tomorrow night, I will be up all night waiting to see when this judgment is going to be, be read out. And let's see where we take it from there. But I tell you, you can never, you can never take a hot charcoal in your hands and think you can, you can, you can walk away with it. You cannot. Let's see what happens. I'm still here in the panel. Let's see what other people are going to say. But to me, I think they have broken our back. They have made the people so hungry that they will not even be strong enough to even stand up to say they want to go and do anything. People have been so traumatized. They will even start sharing video to say, oh, don't go out. Or they will send to your parents. They will send to many platforms to say, oh, they say they are going to unleash trouble that day please oh, don't let your children go out too and so on you will see between now and tuesday night you will see the videos and messages that will be going out everywhere nigeria is a crime scene i rest my case thank you sir thank you very much uh, give us a mandate i don't see you already um i'll come back to uh, responding to that i have somebody on the phone uh, thank you very much madam uh, deborah for calling in please talk to us good evening to you yeah, good evening, uh, Mr. Nanja Watch. Good evening to all the panelists and all the listeners as well. Uh, it's just regarding the breaking news, you know, just like you said earlier on, from from all indications, with everything that they are they are arranging now, is 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 it's like something that is pre-planned. Because this is exactly how they did during the election. They brought military, they did this, did that. And uh, it seems like that's what they are, they, are, they are trying to do as well. If they want to be sincere in their judgment, why all these uh, arrangements that they are making? Why, why all these uh, uh, things? In fact, a few days back when I saw Wicked, the way he came out and was talking, I knew that uh, it's because uh, they, they already, the judgment is coming. They just asked Wiki to come and uh, talk. So they, it, it, it seems as if it's something that they they already um, pre-planned. So uh, we're going to watch, we're going to wait and see what they are going to say. Uh, obviously. Okay, madam. Okay, we lost you there. Yeah, I so said let's be hopeful okay. that it might come up. Okay, your, ne your network is blabbing. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your network is not friendly right now. You can call back again later. Hello, thank you very much. Love of God is my strength. Good evening to you, madam. Talk to us. Hello. Can you hear me properly? 
Yes, you are good. Go ahead. Oh, thank you very much. Good, uh, good evening, everyone on the panel, comment section. I want to thank everybody for coming. We have, we have gone through a lot since this year. I think uh, Niger Watch has been on this since last year. And I want I really want to celebrate you and appreciate you for everyone. The mommy the diaspora, everyone who has put in every I can't call every everyone, every one of us. You see, these Thank people you. they are just trying to they are trying to upset Nigeria. They want they are daring Nigerians. They are daring Nigerians. I'm telling you, you see everything that you are oh, oh, I've, I'm listening to the afternoon program because I didn't join you. I went back and I listened to everything. I'm telling you, you see what Odile did, and she flew out of Nigeria today or yesterday. They said something is up. They know the president of a country, if you remember, somebody called from uh, Italy yesterday and he was telling us. Uh, he was saying some things that we, would, uh, we didn't really like, and he left. And he said, Tunubu was going to leave Nigeria this week. He said it, that we will see. So, but that's not my problem. My problem is now, what are we going to do? Because with what we are seeing, Tunubu knows the result. They know everything. So they want to tell Nigerians. But what I want to say, are we really ready? The question I'm asking, are we ready to let the people know that enough is enough? To let people know that this is the end. This war cannot go on again. It has been happening. They have been doing all their their wuru When those Islamic people, when they went to Asu Rock to do that meeting, I know that everything was already planned. When I saw Emi Sokoto there, I said, that is it. But let me tell you, let me, Nigerians, we need to say, this is the end. We cannot allow these people to treat us as if all the resources of, Ni- resources of Nigeria belongs to only one family, one set of family since 1960 until now. Only the same people controlling Nigeria. When God brought us into Nigeria, he gave us the right to have right to resources. But they are taking it and people are dying. Oh, sorry, people are being fired in their presence and they are not doing anything. And they want to do another thing to dare us and put handle in our eye. Nigerians, are we going to allow this? to go. Nigerians, are we going to allow these people? If they, we don't know the result, of oh, I'm just saying it. I know it will better us. But in case, let's put in, because these people, we can't trust them. Are we going to let it go like this? Are we not going to fight this time? And Kuku end it. Thank you. Thank wow. You. Thank you very much, madam. God bless you. Okay, let me hear from someone else. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Ken. Thanks for calling in, sir. How are you doing today? Good evening to you. Yeah, you have noise on your background, sir. You are good. Okay, I just turned it off. Sorry, I'm driving a long drive uh, to my uh, city. But you see, I'm, I'm calling the program. This is my program. But the thing is this. Eh? I don't really see like what that woman was talking. The, the handwriting just did the wall already. For Tinubu to leave, even when it just reminds me of when Barack Obama knows that things, he has already done his good work and he knows that he's going to win the election. He was playing basketball. So when you see science like this, you know everybody bother them. It'd be like when they don't seem to deal already, they don't talk everything, they don't, they don't drink, they don't talk what they want to do. And that is what they want to do. And the sign of all delay, and other people coming to make speech, they talk every time, all this thing with the year. But you, you know, it, all this are just signs to tell you, see, the team is already going a different direction. My only thing I want to say, I don't want to waste your time and Thank anybody's you. time they listen to me around the whole world. The Thank Nigerian you. people, they feel the cheat. The Nigerian people, they feel the problem, which are almost 200 million, because the people that want this thing to us for ages, there are few old, expired people, where they not even reach up to 10,000. Now they, now they do it, this is against over 200 million. Make the Nigerian people, the masses, make their rise up. Look, everybody, with a revolution come in a different way. If it does not come through a military coup, it can come through a civilian uprising. Let there be a civil disobedience. Let people rush, enter Asu Rock. 
Let them scatter it up for if you happen for you, Nigeria and aware. If you are if you happen for inside you will see the entire capital building, jump any other place. That, what, 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 if, what if in Nigeria? Everybody should rush into the street with their key if they want key. Because if you want to get success, it's not free. If you want to get freedom, it's not free. You must sacrifice. Nigeria is one of the most fearful people that I don't know for this world. You go push them, push them, go to their limit. Beyond their limit, they go see, they be there, they cry, they beg you, they negotiate with you. What do they talk? The two you don't lose. In fact, the two you don't, when you go lose for future, in more than what you say they gain now. Somebody must die. And fast, somebody, people must die every day. Now, something they keep mad. Make everybody enter the once they, they talk the report in all favor the way the truth and the way the constitution is crafted to be. I urge I urge all the Nigeria to enter road, enter streets, rush to Abuja, enter the mansion, occupy and tribal go there where it is to seek asylum. Thank you. I thought we say the place will be good to go, go seek asylum there because if they people go rise up. All right. if they say, People go right into this house. You don't want to die that kind of way. Now, what kind of smart way you use? So it does travel. Say so I travel. You go come back after when there's a long pass. Thank you. Thank People you. People can watch out of you. Thank you, sir. I want Nigerians are hearing me, all the youth. I beg, hear my voice from Wari, Gorish, Asso Rock, everywhere. Mona ready to come out of the street and jump into that Asso Rock, occupy it till I come. Now, I'm going to do that. Thank God it's right to happen. Thank yes. you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you very much, my people. Let me call um, call us. Hold on for now. Let me go back to the panel. Press on the like button. I help us to share. Madam Irene, I can see you just coming in. Good evening to you. Uh, BTV Nigeria, thank you very much. I can see you just coming in as well. God bless you all, my people, everyone right there. Uh, let me call on the Mother Patricia. I beg, talk to us, man. Good evening to you. What's your take on this? Okay, let me come back to you then. Uh, sorry, Abby, sorry, I will, I will join you. I will be here. I'm busy in a short bit. Okay, I will, I will, okay, okay that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I've got Felix. Are you there? I dare you, but my, my beloved brother, I greet everybody, all the panelists, communication. Our viewer worldwide, I greet everybody. Good evening to you. Good afternoon. Good evening. You know, since say they don't give day to you know how you see them now. You know, the team weak me, sharp, but me not. I know how this thing on Saturday say later this this week stroke on Wednesday next week. I talk on Saturday now. Waiting me also for the old matter, my beloved brother, Mr. Evis. Now consider. The message I leave in private chat yesterday. Yesterday or day before yesterday, I can't remember. Day before yesterday, sorry to say. Mm, that's that. fine. That's fine. It's okay. Very, very important because all they need is home delivery. Very important. Because these people, they want to try. I talk and the other, they say, if they need that hard, we will give them hard. If they need them soft, we will give them soft. Because no time to come to talk, 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 talk. This type of action. All the five, the five judicial weighty court panel, the compromise ones, may they try to do contrary to a constitution. Then they will know that they are not bigger than our beloved country, Nigeria. And bigger than Nigerians. No Nigeria is more Nigeria than all Nigerians. All we need from them is to interpret the constitution, give the rightful judgment. That is all we need. But if they do otherwise, <clears throat> this is not time to talk. We... I they talk and personally, I don't see 9900 not they treat me again for life. I will brother. You only have one life to live. All this judicial system in Nigeria. If you do good, 
like the song where we take the match for primary school that time. If you do go kingdom, oh, oh, oh kingdom, oh, oh, kingdom waiting for you. If you do bad, no more kingdom. If you not do good, you guys will be remembered for good. Cast in the bristol. If you do bad, I like the word or the list, Mrs. Suddenly said that if you pull off the roof, it go for reach everybody but you. Judicial, oh, judiciaries, if not do bad thing, <laughs> more than not get that for me. Say the roof where you go pull, according to una CGN, Ariwola, this ledger where you carry thunderstone, where you go the heat every corner of una angle. It pass now. If you not do bad, <clears throat> but if you not do the right thing, interpret the constitution way. You not go see, say, you not go enjoy the whole thing, you not children go enjoy, you not born children or born grandchildren or born generation go enjoy everything. Many Africa patriots who have been remembered today, the time they were doing the rightful thing, they did the, do all those things for them to be remembered alone. They did it for future purposes. That is why they are being remembered for good today. Nigeria judicial is there at the lab. I laugh in Spanish. I did laugh. I never, I don't know all those compromised ones. I don't know what they do because according to the book with the right give us, Bible, Jesus talk and say, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. They still talk and for inside the Bible say, to her is human and to forgive is divine. Not be you seen and confess his sin. Now, God go forgive her. If you not confess your sin, ask him what to forgive you. You be consumed. We not we not get time to check time. We have the wait. Number of the six here. Next tomorrow, we the wait now. If not like an answer, one o'clock, two o'clock. According to Yakubu, that was a Yakubu system now. But what awaits you guys if you do the wrong thing? It's so imaginable. Then you will know if you are the owner of the country, Nigeria, our beloved land, or it is the Nigerians who are patriots to see the country work once again that owns the country. You will know that there are some people that own the land while there are some that worship the land. That the good Nigerians are the ones who own the land, not you people. Few, not up to thousands to decide their affair of millions. Then you will know the stuff we are made of. This is no time to laugh, time to read Bible. Inside Bible, even the Quran. If anybody want to take your thing forcefully, fight for it, even though it costs you the, your last blood. Fight for it. Even though you buy person, not be seen. That is love, Moses. If you do me, I do you. Many pastors don't preach all those ones, apart from tithes and offering. All those pastor G, mommy Gio, daddy Gio, sister Gio, brother Gio. Their days are number. I mean those ones where you give God miscall, not be the ones where God call. 
their days are number. It is now or never. No retreat, no surrender. We have waited for long, long, long since you people have been, all these political dealers have been dealing with us, dealing with our generation. But now they made a mistake with this generation because this generation are the generation that is going to retrieve those things you people have been doing from you. No single person will be spared from you guys. I promise you. It's a promise. It's not a threat. It's a promise. Not be a barongo. It's the Yawagas. More than all corner. Obasaki said, he said, even your house, everywhere, obedient day. Your children, obedience are inside. I can use my beloved brother to make a good example, Mr. Evis. His father is a chieftain in PDP. But he's obedient for you to know that every heart sold obedient are everywhere no hidden place for any evil doers any political dealers no hidden place it is now or never let's keep our finger crossed my beloved brother i just want you to do me that favor i ask of that is all i have to ask for now because it's very vital and useful I thank you, my brother, for all you have done, all the efforts. May God continue to bless your household. We got your back. Not it happen. I greet you, my people. Thank you. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate you, my brother. God bless you. Uh, Mother Deborah, please, uh, do we have lots of people that want to speak. You know, you don't have calls since now. Please talk to us yeah, just no, one minute. Uh, sorry, my internet is corrupted. Okay, go ahead. One minute. Uh, one minute. Quickly, yeah, quickly conclude by by saying, uh, this they, they they thought maybe we are stupid. This is the reason why they were pushing uh people like a boy and Kui last week to come out and make some some statements that 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 would discourage uh, their followers from reacting when the result is released. Obviously, they were they were pushing them to go, okay, go and talk, because they know that these people have a voice, uh, especially in the South. Uh, they, they can push in their, their members and tell them, oh, it is the will of God. But I really, really hope that people will rise up and know that enough of this nonsense. Uh, a, a few people cannot just take everybody for a ride. And just and just do things uh, their own way. The devil can never repent in one day. If you if you if you fall if we fold our hands and just let them get away with it, these people will never stop. They will never stop. They are going to twist everything. They're going to they, they're going to twist everything. Like one of the call, uh, callers said initially. No, I, I mean one of the panelists said. It's because they are they are already seeing that things are not going to go in their favor, especially with what Atiku is doing here in, in, in Chicago. So they quickly want to just just like they did the the other election results, they just want to quickly do what they want to do. And then they will say go to Supreme Court. That's what they if you are not happy with the judgment, then go to Supreme Court. That's exactly what they want to do. So we are not even stupid. But the only thing is that I don't know. I, I, the, the, I, I, the, there's a lot of layback on the side of Nigeria. They are waiting for God to come down from heaven to come and do it. Because when you talk to a lot of them, they say it's only God. So a lot of I'm sorry to say, but a lot of Nigerians are laid back when it comes to fighting for their rights. So I don't see, except only us that are in diaspora that that are even so passionate about this whole thing. But a lot of them in Nigeria, when you talk to them, you don't even see that passion in so many of them. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but for the, from the, the, the few friends I have there, when I call them, their responses to me, 
I mean, I, they are consigned, but they are not willing to be proactive. They are waiting for God to come down okay. from heaven. Thank you. But even prayers without work is not going to yield any results if you are not if you are not Thank active. You, if you don't Thank do you, what mother. you need to do. Thank you. So it doesn't work like that. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Nigeria God bless you, man. Thank you. All right. Um, I have, uh, sorry, sorry, my brother. Go sorry ahead. to interject you. Go ahead. Before, just just for twenty seconds, I just want to ask a question. If the 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 petition, the tribunal said sit at home without any reason, which is not in our constitution, why would they stop this man from Finland when he says sit at home? What is the reason of the statue? Is the question. All right. Um, let maybe others my answer it. Uh, Div David PDF, please. Let's see who is behind that name, please. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, David. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, where are you joining us from, David? Unmute yourself. Oh, Hello, can you hear me? From Edo okay, you're joining us from Edo State. Yeah, 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 Baba. I did Edo State. Okay, okay. May I prioritize you then? May you share talk to us before I come to Mother Patricia. Thank you very much, my brother, for joining us. I beg talk to us. First of all, I want you to tell everybody when they call, since when they talk, say, the judges say they don't already plan what they want on us. Now make all of them they travel. They come up for Nigeria. Say if they don't pass the judgment, they'll say if you are not satisfied, go to the Supreme Court. Now we did Niger in the sense that in the sense that now we know what it happened. Now now we they touch. Now we now they touch. The lady went call when she uh, uh, he asked question whether Nigerians whether you guys are ready. Although I don't know about the rest of too, but for the Biniwa D, <laughs> the rain it go touch everybody. Even if you carry on blera, it go touch you. Wednesday, na daybreak. Area the user make parable say if we do my see with the person, you go jump fence. So that one they want say for the uh, security personnel when they want when they want deploy go or the anywhere they want deploy then go. I want your stone and see who not get anything to lose. You know the fear to buy. Who not get anything to lose? Not the fear to buy. You see that thing when you pull for when you put when you put when you carry for neck, so we black. I don't want to make sure you name because this this platform now worldwide. But I know what they are talk. You see that thing when you put for neck when they intimidate Nigerians. So when they think say how far. You don't arrive. Oga, okay? if you see crowd, that thing so it go fail you. She be the getter. They suffer, not be only Nigerians in the touch. You won't say be Nigerian because say maybe you wear khaki or you wear police uniform or you be DSS or you be civil defense or anything where you be. You want to use until they intimidate your fellow Nigerian because you be, you be you be sheep. Now anywhere when they send you, now you they carry your head go. You not get brain to think. Your brain, now water, now you full on. You know they think that you want to intimidate Nigerians when they fight for better country. You know guy they be. The rain, it go touch everybody. The judiciary, me not get problem with you now. If you not like, make you not announce anything I want to announce. 
as long as say the thing if it not there according to the constitution of nigeria although since then i know even know say nigeria get constitution and i even when this case that i think say nigeria get constitution but if we to now one and us not correspond to what it did the constitution of nigeria if you like send all your children all your family members send them go abroad but you not forget to say before you reach airport na road you go pass then before you come enter plane the plane it go see pass in your plane track before it come off for ground not be try to i just they talk my own the way you take the she be the get down when is the dorish a bit us the six dorish with the weight with the weight of the judgment. Now you're waiting at my house, can't talk to you, you'll be that one. People, mona, 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 put na my down. Mona, no worry. Not be Nigeria. Now we the touch. Mona, no worry. Mona, put na my down. Mona, no worry. Thank you. Any I B. Any I B. If you do my see what you pass on, you go jump fence. Now wait till I can't come talk with that. So now do it. Thank you, David, uh, for your submission. You know, for me, um, let's just wait and see what's going to happen on Wednesday. Let me call on Mother Patricia. Mother Patricia, please talk to us. Man. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Evans. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, good evening everyone, and especially those on the comment session. Good evening and well done for a job well done, because I can see all your comments there. Thank you for keeping the, the comment session alive. And of course, all those that are also supporting Mr. Evis, um, just supporting the channel, so that this channel will keep on, you know, uh, reaching out to those um, that are unaware of what we are doing here for a better Nigeria, sensitizing and educating people to come to come 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 um, come with to speed with uh, the happenings of today. Uh, mommy, I want to give you <laughs> kudos to you because uh, yeah, you always there. You always the first person to to post uh the the message to everybody and also the first person to to post on the platform i mean i, I admire your your energy i salute you god bless you for all that you do for us thank you so so much um the ex uh, judge supreme court judge the lady what the lady I, my take on whatever she has come to submit uh, is something that was given to her to come and read out to Nigerians because her startling was just so obvious that it wasn't coming from her. You can't sit down and construe or construct a message by yourself and you are not able to even communicate it fluently it wasn't coming, you know, you can you can hear that this was something cooked up and hand over to her, uh, handed over to her to go and read. But uh, it's, it's so, so shameful that a woman of her caliber, uh, somebody that you could have say, oh, yes, you can look up to her and say, yes, she has done well in life. But... Um, to be used as an instrument of uh, evil worker, evil work at this time of her retirement. I think that just spell out the decadence and the character behind uh, these so-called people that has been in charge of uh, the uh, that being a hem of things, you know, because how can you have somebody in the institution that even though she's retired, this was our person this was how she was she wasn't standing for the right thing because if she was standing for the right thing 
at her, this age, when she's even closer to her grave, that's when she should up, uphold that tenet of her, that character of hers, that attitude, you know, that differentiates her, that distinction, distinguishing mark that she carries, she's supposed to carry, you know, the positive one, not the negative one that she's supposed to carry as somebody that has occupied this kind of high office. But what we are seeing is the opposite. So uh, I'm highly, highly disappointed in her because just like the other one woman too, was it going to see the same, they are the kind, the same kind of people. They lack character. They lack character. That is their problem. And, um, and that's why we need a total overhauling of the system, Nigeria system, because the whole institutions are porous. It's corrupt people that are everywhere. Corrupt. Only few that are still the good eggs. You know, so um, that's why we must, something has to be done. Whatever judgment the judges are going to, the judiciary is going to give. If it doesn't align with the constitution, then they should be ready for what they are, they are, they are, they are calling for. Because the anarchy that they said they are calling for, they will actually get it. Because no, it's only constitution that buy people together. With law, you build a nation. With law, you hold, uphold a family. With law, you hope uphold people. You cannot not, not have a law to keep people in unity. And the law must be fair, equitable, and justice. You know, it, it must have equity, justice, and fairness in it. If it lack any of this, it must be truth. Truth must prevail. If it lack any of these four qualities, then it's not a law. Then it's not a law that anybody should abide with. Then it's side law. It's, it's one side one sided, and it will not work. A law must reflect the 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 opinions and the the the, the desire of everybody. It must not be for some people. So nobody should be above the law. Nobody, nobody should be above the law. It doesn't matter from which quarters they are supporting you to be above your own laws. The people that are supporting you to be above your laws, they are holding up their, their countries by their laws. They don't break the law. They make sure they keep their laws. So anybody that is supporting you from outside or anywhere, Telling you, yes, you can go ahead and do that. Listen, Nigerians are awake. We cannot have a country, a dysfunctional country. We need a country that works. And therefore, the law of the land must be upheld. It must be upheld. And if you judges think that you, you, that you say you call yourself, you're supposed to be blind. And you tell us you can see. You can see. You have eyes. You have eyes to, to want to go and be flying jets. Buying your jet, buying your three million, three million cars. For that, you remove the blind, the blind they put on your eye as a judge. Now you are seeing what you are not supposed to see. So your eye now don't give you long throats. You know they talk through again. All of una eh? We couldn't wait. But now wait because that rain won't. They say go fall. So it go really follow the rain go fall. It go fall because you have to uphold that. Constitution. If you put miss that, if you miss it, forget Nigeria. Mona, forget them. What's the point? If we don't have law, why are we together? Everybody can go and do what they like now. I can be my own my own lord. I can be my own god in my own my own house. Nobody have the right to come and tell me what to do. I will do what I like because the law must be upheld by every citizen. If you call yourself a citizen, if you are a bastard, then you are not supposed to be in that country. Because it's only bastards that come to people's home and decide to break their laws. So that is it. So you judges that you are you are doing as though you are blind, but yet you say you, you have eyes to see. You are supposed to be blind, but you have eyes to see. And you are desiring what you are not supposed to be desiring at this time. Yeah, you, you try and do otherwise. Just try and do otherwise. And then you see whether you go see, see any, any, any court to enter to sit down. Say, talk to you, say you work on judge case. And all of them away don't they run so as soon as soon as they run mona run finally oh mona you're wrong go there mona don't go back to nigeria now you go better pass 
because if we now go back without we not having the law, no, you people not upholding the head, the, the, the upholding the law of the land, you should know that not you know they come back to Nigeria because that country cannot be Nigeria anymore. Everybody go answer in Papa name. Everybody go and go 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 back to the the place they belong to. We know where we belong. So if it's not working, whatever is not working, it's not worth you know continuing doing. You know so the the systems on place in place, the structures on the ground they are not working. They are only working for some people, and we are saying we don't want this. Majority of Nigerians are suffering, and we are saying that we don't want this. Nigerians are not for few selected people. Nigeria is supposed to be for everybody. So as long as you people say now like this one, I want that. We too will tell and say we're not going to take her from Mona. Enough is enough. We are going to make sure we take our country back. If we say if you insist that okay, you don't want to keep the law, let's forget Nigeria. Everybody should enter uh, to his to his tent, or Israel. Everybody should go back to their to their to their place. We are we are not bastard. We have a kingdom. We we uh, we rather prefer our other to con to be our head, and let this Nigeria craze madness go. We don't need it. If that is what you people want, let's do it that way. I think it's better. There's no need for all this uh, all this anki parking or going up and down, doing all this uh, what whatever you people are doing. Shenaniga, you know. You, you you don't you don't you the the, 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 the 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 cases have been presented for how long now? You sat on it till on the seats, waiting for what? What are you waiting for? And now, make una come and come tell us. Now now na say na one televisor. More na televisor. If you like, make it go say na night now. No one go announce and we uh, witchcraft time. Any time we want, we go there and wait. They wait for now. So we are ready for you people. Since you people think say now everybody go now feel buy. We wanna not get shame. So I hold my peace for now. Will they wait for now? Any owner wants them, we will give them to owner because we are tired. We want a country that works. We want a country that a poor man person can become something, not the way you have made it now. Only you people and your children. It cannot work like that. You know, nobody deserves to do a better life than the other person. When there is more than enough for everybody, this kind of wickedness and wicked heart that you poor have. I don't know where you got it from. But in any case, if you don't, if you say you don't want to do good, then Nigeria can go. Let everybody go back to what they used to do. Because when, when we were in our in those times when the Oba was was the was the was the king, they, they were having all, all, all it takes to rule his people. We didn't have hungry people. There was no hunger, hungry people. Everybody have a land. Everybody can do what they want. Everybody can can have have land or build house or whatever. Today it's not like that. So, if Nigeria is not working, let's dissolve the thing. After all, it's not we that made Nigeria. It's not we that uh, construed it. It was the British people that brought it. We ask, we say, okay, if you if it will not work, let us dissolve it and let everybody go. It's as simple as that. It, it's not by force that people must stay together. So judiciary, you are hearing and. Listen, me, I'm not the only angry Nigeria. It, there are millions and millions of us, like me, angry and waiting for you people to take the right decision. So I will counsel you to do the needful. Because if you don't do the needful, the roof that you now say go fall, it go really fall. It go fall and definitely you will not escape. So Mr. Evis, I yield so far. Thank you. I give other people room to talk. Thank you, uh, Mother, Mother Patricia. May God bless you. Thanks for your wonderful submission. I deliberately called you early because I wanted to hear you um, talk on this issue. And you've nailed it. Thank you. God bless you. Guys, press on the like button and help us to share. And let's hear from the next person on the panel, which is uh, Mother Nena. Mother Nena, thank you very much for your patience. Please talk to us. Yeah, um, good afternoon, um, Mr. Evans. Good afternoon. Um, Niger Watch family, thank you so much, everyone. God bless everybody. Oh, I don't know. Um, um, at this point, I am having like mixed emotions and mixed feelings. I feel like you know, like I feel like our worst fear is about to hit us. 
as as, as optimistic as I am. Please, nobody should um, blame me. Nobody should attack me. That's just how I feel at this point. I am I'm scared. We've been waiting for the day to come, but I'm getting like this mixed feelings, and it's not it's not. Um, I'm trying to maybe at some point I'm going to come out of it, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling good at this point with all this madness and everything that is going on. It brings tears to my eyes to hear and see the kind of thing that is happening in this country that is called Nigeria. You know, like you're going to deliver judgments. You're ordering people not to come to work. You're ordering police and army to live everywhere. Like, what does that even mean? Where has that ever happened? Is this the first time in the history of Nigeria that tribunal has ever judged a case? A, 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 this is the first um, petition, um, electoral petition tri uh, tribunal case that has been judged in Nigeria. So why all the military? Why why all this? Why all this madness? Why all these things? Putting all these things up at this time? And somebody asked the question. Somebody says something about you know the 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 timing, the coincidence in the timing of um this one happening, these people traveling, this that that that. that. I don't want to see any of those things as coincidence. I don't want to see them as coincidence. But I still have to put it this way. That it will be really, really disgraceful. It will be really, really... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like look, find the right words to use at this time. To think that... A country like Nigeria that brags about intelligent people, that brags about smart people. Of course, we do have them. We have smart people. We have intelligent people. We have all these things put together. A country that has all the riches and all the wealth and all the everything you can think of, that these kind of things are coming out of Nigeria on daily basis. The trip that Tinubu and the people that they mentioned are going for in India, they are going there to meet countries that are working, technocrats, people that are, you know, countries that things are working. And the question I ask myself is, what exactly, how exactly, what exactly are they going there? To? Like, if all these things are happening in a country, in, in Nigeria as a country, what exactly is the rationale behind them going to? I don't. I, I'm just trying. I'm just kind of short of what trying to find figure figure out the way. Because when you are doing things, I, I want to believe that the whole world at this point is looking at this Nigeria as and seeing what is going. Like the people that are going to communicate with them, they are going there in the name of you know the businessmen in Nigeria to bring businesses to which country exactly, and with everything that is happening. The whole world is saying it. It is not just saying that things are wrong. It is also spelling very in very clear terms that this Tunubu and his group that are going to whatever they are doing are not accepted by like you are in a you are you are you are you are going to represent a country, so to say, that it has been very is very clear to everybody in the in the world, irrespective of where you're coming from, to know that your people, you are not accepted. You are not, you're not a popular person. You are not accepted back home. And yet, you are claiming that you're going to, res you're going to represent Nigeria to, to do what is that, to bring what business ex exactly to Nigeria. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I find it difficult to understand the whole thing. Because everything that's happening in Nigeria says one thing and one thing alone. Nigerians, does not accept Tunubu. I don't care how many handful that are singing his praises. Nigerians, Nigerians does not accept this man. You are rejected. You are not, you're not, you're not, nobody wants you. And yet you people are busy running our right and scattered, going here to, with the rights of Dankote them and the rest of them, doing what? Like, Nigerians need to understand Nigerians need to understand, just like Ms. Madam Patricia said, Nigerians need to understand that if things don't work out now, 
this country they call Nigeria is gone. We people don't understand what these people are doing. You don't understand what we, these people are doing and the level at which they are ready to go. I will say it and we say it over and over again. Tinubu is not interested in doing anything good. In fact, there is no how anything good will come out of Tinubu. It's not possible. There is no possibility that anything good will come out of him. A man, a man who claims to be in his 70s, even though I know he's more than that, I want, I, I want to believe that that man Tinubu is above that. That man Tinubu cannot be anything less than 80. Somebody who has, from the moment he be, he he's, he began to know who he is, from wherever he whatever part of the world he marched from and however he came into existence, that all he has done all his life is criminality, fraud, forgery, everything about him is... Like, how can he How can he suddenly get to his 80s and begin to do anything right? There is no possibility. It's not possible. It's not possible. And the judiciary, you people see all these things. These people, you people know, you see, you hear. And you know very well that Nigerians have not rested. Nigerians have not. Don't just don't just accept this. Nigerians don't just want this man. They did it in the polls, and you know the result of this election. Why in the world will there? How are we even? How do we even explain that? I just don't want to believe the fear that is coming to me and the fear that a lot of people are expressing at this point, that we could just wake up on Wednesday morning and these people are telling us another nonsense. We could just wake up and they're telling something. Like, I, I cannot just, I cannot just, you know, picture it and what will be the outcome. But like, like everyone is saying, we're saying it. Nigerians, be ready. I like the tone of that, my brother, that called from Benin City. Nigerians be ready because if you think you can just wish this one away, drink it, drink fant on top of it, or drink uh, malt on top of it, like you've been drinking on top of every other issue. It has never been very it, the institution of Nigeria has never been as critical as this before. So you guys had better, better, better be ready. I say it all the time. That two things are supposed to happen on that day. Either Nigerians threw part in their millions on the street to jubilate and truly show the world that yes, right has been done for Nigerians. Or you threw up in your millions, watch into that. Look, I'm telling you, march into that place. Stomp on everything that is stompable. Walk on everything that is walkable and speak it loud that we cannot accept this nonsense. Nigerians need to be ready. That human revolution must take place. If these people ventures to do something contrary to what Nigerians are wishing for, we are not just wishing it because we think it's what it's supposed to be. We are wishing it because that is what it is. Everybody, even a little child, even Olani Kmeko and the rest of them, even this senseless, shameless Mary Odele, I'm coming to her case later. That came out and said nonsense. You know that people do want this election. You are people know it. But intentionally, they chose to put him on the far third, thinking that putting him on the far third would deter him from going to the court to fight. Even Atiku, who is fighting for Chicago uh, certificates, knows very well. He knows very well that people do want this election. He knows that even the places that he claimed that he won, that people do want them. If only they will come out and say the truth. They know. Because why APC was busy rigging on their side, a PDP was busy rigging on their side. They were just doing their pity party, doing their uh, their free for all party rigging with P2B, with Labour Party. It is so sad. They know. Judiciary. Hmm. Nigeria is about to burn down. Nigeria is about to be raised. Look. Peter, what is her name? Mary Odelin. First of all, let me just come to her case. Maybe I will, I will just marry it what I'm saying. When I was listening to Mary Odelin, I think I, I saw that nonsense that she was ranting last night. When I was listening to Mary Odelin, the first thing that came to my mind was, first of all, what this woman was saying, was it really necessary in that occasion? I don't know if anybody has reasoned it that way. 
was it really necessary in that occasion? That nonsense that she was saying, you, this, you came for a, 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 somebody's 25th year celebration where you're supposed to be making a speech. What she was saying, was it really necessary for that occasion? For me, I don't think it was. If not that this woman has an evil intention. And like everyone else says, I felt so... I, look, before now, I that woman is one person that I don't really know too much about her. But a little I know about her when her husband was, uh, uh, um, um, was in government. I somehow I, I just have a kind of respect for Peter Odile and uh, somehow I don't know but honestly I felt so disappointed disappointed in so many ways first of all like everyone has said when she was reading the things that this woman were saying first of all they were not necessary for that occasion second of all they were easy things you could just carry a microphone and say and talk why was she reading and you are reading a written sentence a written uh, um, um, speech that is not even that is not even smartly written something that a fifty a fifth grader can write and she was so incoherent she was basically like jumping words mumbo jumbo like she couldn't even you know be she couldn't even read it very well and that makes me to also believe you know to the part of people who say that this is a written statement for her this is not something that's coming from her head and that shows how low the people we think, the people who look up to, we think that they are smart and intelligent. How low they can go for the sake of what exactly, I do not know. Where has Miriam Dele been all these years? What was Miriam Dele and Peter Dele's achievement in River State? Since she left, what has she done? This woman is from Ezeni Hidenbise. Go to her hometown. What did she achieve there? As the wife of an ex governor. And if people don't know, this woman is a puppet, one of the puppets that people, uh, 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 that uh, uh, um, Yeso Wike used to carry out most of his legal atrocities in diverse states. This made the elderly. So this woman is, is one of Wike's tools that he used to perpetrate most of his legal criminalities. In, 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 in River State. And it is very shameful. It is very, very shameful that a somebody like Mary Odile will come to the wall, will come and be. First of all, she, they're talking about bringing that. Who is bringing down the roof? Peter B from day one told his followers, please do not protest. Be quiet. Let's go to the court. Has anyone seen any obedient member go to the. The people that have been going around, parading themselves, doing some stupid, senseless uh, um, um, protests. First of all, we remember um, the, 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 the shameless deity uh, Lillian, whatever, that carried her people to go and do what Bernard says they did before the consulate. Then we saw the, 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 the orangutan, uh, uh, um, what's his name? Hasani Tokoba and his own group, go to Asuro Kandu. Has anyone seen the obedient people go out and do protest? No. So what nonsense is she talking about bringing down the roof? What exactly is she talking about? Since this whole thing started, I've not seen people be, say anything to hurt anybody or to do anything against anybody. This man has been going about his business. Even when he goes to the court, he sees calm. He sees calmly there. When he's done, he's exchanging his place entries and he goes away. APC, PD people have been inviting him to, invest, to, their, uh, to their children's wedding and stuff like that. The man has been going there quietly like a, like a gentleman that he is. So what nonsense is she talking about bringing down the roof? The people who did not win it, I tried that. It, it, what nonsense? No, look, Mary Odile, you should understand that Nigerians are angry this time. If anybody on this plan, on this place, and I want to believe that this, whatever that happens to Nigeria Watch goes far. If anybody knows anybody that knows anybody that know anybody that knows uh, Mary Odile, people should tell her to stay clear of the path of the obedience. She needs to stay clear. She needs to, she needs to just stay clear. She needs to just get out of the road so that this moving train no go crush her. Make that woman just respect herself. Make she just respect herself. What nonsense is she talking about? I wish that one would just sit down and, and, and go back to that nonsense that she was reading. 
If somebody wrote that thing to give her, or she thought about it and put it down, first of all, her statements were not smart. She did not even write like write like a, like like a, like a, like a lawyer, like a son, whatever she they say she was. She even write anything that is smart. I'm telling you. I'm telling. In fact, my 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 seventh grader will write better than what that nonsense that she was reading. And she could not even, she was, she was so incoherent. So if it's somebody that put her up to use her to do that nonsense that she did, she should know that she has set up herself, set herself up for something. <laughs> for something, you know, basically, person, person, person no, no. Now the worst thing where person, any person, any person will ever get involved, make you find yourself where say, person, you know, no, come bring to your, somebody can finish it for me. May the Lord respect yourself. Oh. Nigerians, they, Nigerians are angry. Nigerians are angry. Respect yourself. You're, if you want to praise anybody, you can go ahead and praise them. Who Nobody cares. But what in the world are you talking about? That people who are fanning the amber of bigotry or whatever. Which people are fanning the amber of bigotry? People are trying to dance things to focus their eyes on the, on the people who are holding the election petition uh, tribunal, and you're trying to trying to bring that uh, obedient, the attention of the obedience to us to yourself. Are you are you out of your mind? Are you out of your senses? Is anything wrong with you? What is wrong with these people that they cannot just they, what? And why is it that you know? Thank you. People cannot just cannot just read the atmosphere, read, read the read the temperature of the environment and know how to behave. That is what people say. When you come out, you see, say day cold. You go go inside, go wear a jacket. If you say day warm, you go. What is wrong with this, these people now? Now already, already people are already tensed up and people uh, maybe already jumped out from nowhere with black and black. She demon herself. Oh Jehovah, Missy. You wear black and black. You demon yourself. You demon whatever. What is going to come to you? People, uh, maybe you already respect yourself. Oh. Just my, respect yourself. Respect yourself and just respect yourself. That's what I have to say. Just to respect yourself. We are looking up on the on the on the on our eyes now. They're giving us the date six. We are focusing on that place. Anybody where see that roof where they come that that roof woke up. Now you know now people like you are the first that is gonna crush. Thank you so much, Mr. Nazar. Watch. Let me end here. God bless everyone. Thank you very much, Madam Nena. God bless you. Thanks for your submission. Guys, press on the like button, help us to share. Press on the dollar sign. Nobody buy me coffee today. What did they happen? They don't announce date now. I can't invest with me. Now, and I may cause the problem with this. So, <laughs> eh? What did they have? We don't spend two hours plus. Nobody buy me coffee. Okay, maybe the date with the announce so it does shock everybody. Nevertheless, let's move on. Let me call on the next person. Please press on the like button, people, because currently our likes is on four hundred. God bless every one of you that hit on that like. Help us to take it for take it forward. Thank you very much, people. Okay, I have uh, 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 someone on the phone. Hold on before I call the next person. Hello, my sister. Do you want to contribute? Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. All right, we have uh, Omo Yes Conan here. Go ahead. You can talk to us now. Oh, okay. I just want to quickly say, right, everybody's aware that they have come up with the judgment date and all of that. And I'm hearing that um, the justice orderly woman has left the country, yes. right? Yes. And um, Agbado is on his way to India. Yes. My take is this, Nigerians, that man was supposed to come back from India, number one. Uh, the, the orderly woman, God, just the family. How that woman take commode for that country? Well, because right now, Nigerians, I don't know, their body supposed to be hot to the point where they're supposed to be come in front of these people houses, come for the airport. These people, they know what they don't do. They, they come out right in front of our eyes. They go come out, enter, they go come pass, drive, and pass through all the security, enter aeroplane, and no Nigerians. All the Nigerians, when they walk from, from the driver to the airport, if the, the, the petroleum they are fed them, they defeat the school. Because I don't understand what it's going to take. I don't. Because whether they like him or not, this revolution is already started. 
How can that woman that calls herself a justice, he make riot acts, he come out with a fruitless, who do riot acts, he come out because he won't need the chaos, make it far for her. Oh my God. Anybody where they lay blood on, where they where know that woman has, they're supposed to find her, go disgrace, go mount, go protest for front of that woman's house. I'm telling you, no matter where they're there. A, a, a court come out now, then they don't say they want it. Televise what? Televise all to rubbish. Televise kill all of them. He called kill all of them, one after the other. When we they ask for televising from the beginning, where they put their ear? Where they, where they put their ear? Now they want televise. Me here for one other space in a lie. It's film trick. The televise allegedly when they want televise, they go do them in such a way the glitch go on the, so that people go say, oh, they try to televise. Now I make oh, <sighs> oh everybody oh. will be lawyer for Nigeria. Please don't call yourself a lawyer. Just quiet. Don't tell anybody you are a lawyer, please. Because you see that profession. It has turned your certification, your hard work to rubbish. Do not come out and say you are me. I'm not expecting anything from the judiciary. Me, I don't think I don't motive back, motive back from the 25th. When did they when did they count rubbish and nonsense? I don't accept. I say, you know what? It is what it is. I'm not expecting them to do anything different. But you see, after the sixth, oh, 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 the, in fact, which are they talk? The sixth, Nigeria suppose no sleep. As I did so, I know they go work on Wednesday. I decide. I want to be sick. No sleep. The fifth, the sixth, everywhere. So that they trust me, people sit down for us. Now, now NSC, no say convenient for them to do strike. It's not convenient that they close that bank for two days. How convenient. So that people don't see money, pay money to access their money. All the petty, petty traders don't come when they, they carry small money. So you want to strangulate the remaining people when they hang on by a thread. You want to strangulate them because of your greed. Now, now, me don't talk sense. I say all oh, these people, all oh, these activities suppose don't shut down. First of all, maybe not so okay. Oh, we are looking for money when we take feed our people for back home where they donate. So they feed community to community because we be we be their government anyway. So we might as well. Now they are doing they are doing their same people should stay at home. I tell you, if you hear my voice, you say stay, you know go better for stay at home. It will not be better. For stay at home, carry your karanga, sit in front of that court. Oh, by na by. Oh, by you, whether you live a home, it's not how long you live, it's how well. What is the what was the quality of the life you lived? How did you impact people? Nay matter now. Not be oh, I live long, long life. Oh, rubbish and nonsense onto long life. Look at the gargoyles that you have that are coughing mayhem. They don't do the they do not not supposed to come back to that country as it they make it all become a, a refugee for India. Opportunity, Ray, because what he's trying to do, they don't really go back, go sit down with their, their Western puppet masters to designate. Because I tell you, first one to recolonize you people, you people, you are, we are playing. If they want to recolonize Africa again, France, they bore as you they speak so. They don't do naive the naive the person whether they hold on to the latch on to right now. Okay, so Nigeria is very important to them. Now this man don't go in here. Every Nigeria is supposed to he not supposed to come back to that country again. You're not supposed to come back. It don't make an easy for now. Since you want to run away. Maybe somebody called in, was it yesterday, and said this and that. I heard uh, Mr. Elvis when he said, no, we can't understand. But that guy made sense. Is it not happen? I think of a teacher. We did talk yesterday, not be with the experience, not be with the city today. Every Nigerian, all the verse when you know the verse since this is the time. This is the time for that verse to be known. I see that I will come on top of my phone. I'm not sleep rich ground this morning. 
I logged, I never sleep since 25th of February. I never sleep the left foot. The 6th of September is the day of destiny. <laughs> we will know. Make a yield, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for your wonderful submission. All right. Uh, wow. Let me pick another call right here. I can see more people trying to call in. Uh, let me hear from this person. Hello, good evening to you. Your name and where you calling us from? Hello? Hello. Hello, sir. What's your name? Where you yes, calling from? Brother, good evening to you. Yes. Yeah, my, brother, my name is Kenneth. I'm calling from Dallas, Texas. Go ahead, sir. Uh, yes, my brother. I to follow this news about the 6th of September. What's her name? Uh, Audily. We're in Georgia. We're in SA. I don't know which she be. But one thing is sure. I believe uh, waiting at the CBC, they have arranged this thing already. She you know if you go that place, go the announce, go the praise tenable uh, lawyer, say they never lose case before. What for? They prearrange this thing. Even the G20 summit, where Tinibu go, is he is Nigeria monk? What he go do there? He's just going there for spectator. What he go do there? They have arranged these things. Look. All these people, they call themselves judges and son. These are one institution that was highly respected in Nigeria. I see them to be rubbish. I see all of them to be rubbish. How can you now automatically saying that, okay, now we want to televise this thing from nowhere? But when I first stop her, I don't feel alarm. Now I can't, can't reach my own and for court. They stop and say, no, they're not going to grim me televising. Why now nah, they want to revise her? And I'm not trying to see again that they say they want an answer on the sixth, but there was there's no time written on that letter that came out from the registrar. No, no time written on it. Why? They want to ask uh, and they do want to go and ask around 4 a.m. in the morning. They want to do it the same way. Look, we in diaspora, we know say where we did, we God bless us, we they do well. But we are suffering because of our people back home. If you not get brother, you get sister, or you get cousin for Nigeria, we will say you want Tonto, one on one, one way or the other to help. We see the petrol and nose in one way or the other. But we are praying for our country to get better. Must it be on judiciary that will come and help us? Sometimes we will say yes, sometimes we will say no. But my brother, listen, and everybody in the crew, I thank all of you now. I want to take the contribution our voice to this people in Nigeria for better. But one thing I will still say about the judiciary of a team, you know, suppose they are death and they want to determine the future of Nigeria. This legislation is not going to be that death. Now, nice. Nigeria corrupt, rich. Let me call it rich that death. Say now, say now, the judiciary will not determine the presidency of Nigeria. I will beg everybody, you have one or two persons back home in Nigeria, lend your voices, tell them to speak up for me. I have my people back in Benin because from Benin, over here, Dr. Taki Wahi. I have people that I'm, I'm talking to in Benin. Or oh, I should be on judiciary. But for me, the way I'm saying this thing, it looks like they have arranged this already. How can banks want to go show, want to go shut down? And I never see when not get voice. What they do like uh, this thing. And they want to raise voices, they want they want to strike. They don't even arrange this thing. They want to ask nonsense for our ear. That's what I'm looking at it. They want to ask nonsense for our ear. But one thing should know, they the judiciary should know. If they do nonsense, they will see the nonsense. Because they get driver, they get security, they get who they give them food. Those people, if they enjoy those what their workers not they enjoy Nigeria situation. If they feel they buy food for seven hundred, those their workers don't think they buy food for seven hundred. If they don't pay workers three hundred thousand naira money every month, they will not say their lives see they at risk, at stake in their workers' hand. I you the floor. Thank you. Thank you, my oh, dear brother. God bless you, my dear brother. I appreciate you. Thank you. That's a wonderful submission right there. I appreciate every one of you that have given your uh, submission on the phone. I'll come back to my panelists right now, but before that, I would like to quickly appreciate Dr. Alessandra Gomez. Thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, is it one go? Thank you very much for the super chat. I kiss the Ogeria here. Is it one go? Say, Mr. Elvis, thank you. Emilio, for your good and relented hard work, God bless you. And uh, Mr. Kings, they said coffee for you, Mr. Elvis. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate every one of you. Hello, good evening to you. Your name, where are you calling us from? Good evening, 
Good afternoon, Nigerian boys. Good afternoon, all the panelists and everybody. All the Thank you, sir. Everybody, right there. Yeah. Um. Like last week, I said, my name is Chimes. I'm calling from US. As last week, I said, these people re already arranged everything. In fact, in my mind, these judge, uh, judges and everything, they already judge this and they just want to come out and, you know, read it. So, uh, Gado going, going outside, uh, all the land, you know, allegedly traveled, you know, some of them, they, they already know what's going to play out. That's why they just, and um, by the, um, I think the OB Dirty TV, they said, um, I had uh, the, um, they put uh, sit at home or stay at home. So for me, my 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 own take is these people go, they're going to give rubbish and stupid um judges tomorrow so which everybody going to get angry so the only and uh, the only thing i don't know how nigeria is going to everybody going to react what everybody going to come out or they will sit everybody going to sit where they thank sit and sit back so i don't know i don't know thank you so sir. but yeah. Thank you. Thank Bye. you very much for your submission. God bless you. Bye. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, callers. That's it. Let me come. Uh, please turn on your camera, Takuma, to see who is there. Thank you. Uh, let me call on the next person here. I have uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Alex Edoson. Thank you very much, sir, for your patience. Please talk to us. Good evening to you. Yeah, Mr. Elvis. Good evening, my brother. A long time. Thank you, sir. I've not been with you guys for some time. You know, you know how this is. You know how things be. I just had a little leave, so I was, I was, I was one of you anyway. I was still listening to you, but I could not just uh, contribute. I've been following things up, but I thank God I just had some space today. So let me just join in to share my own view on our great uh, country nigeria so i greet everyone may god bless you all for your efforts especially you your family and every person that is wishing nigeria well uh they will all continue to do well and those who are trying to pull us back they will get whatever they are throwing uh, at us um sister my sister nina was saying something i i think i will just say i i get her feelings you know it's a kind of miss really miss feeling from me too you know we've been hoping we've been working hard one way or the other for this our great nation to work but there are just these few let me say people gangs that just don't want anything good for the country. So my question is, what do they really want? If this country goes down, if everything go in a, in, on the wrong direction, what is their benefit? Is it that they just want others to worship them, to come and be looking up to them and say, oh, we are suffering, you guys, you, we are, you are dominating us, um, Let's, let's just continue like that. What do they want for God's sake? If you, if you know that the country is, is um, kind of, you, you have everything you, you guys have been stealing. You know, you've wrecked this nation. You've, you, you've sucked it. A brother said, like I was listening to, they are not using a straw. They are using a, a, a hose to suck. Nigeria, to suck the country that is now left with nothing. Now, the judiciary, like someone also said, uh, because it's something is very, very good to listen to others. You know, you learn to, you know, um, is it the judiciary really that is supposed to determine how the country is to be run? If not, because we are having a nation that is not governed by laws, where rule, the rule of law is being trashed, 
where the people who are supposed to be leading, the people who are supposed to even hold this law, to cherish it and make sure that the, the country works, even if it is not going to benefit them. All they just do is they want to make sure it works. This chief judge, the retired chief judge, I was so ashamed listening to her. So, so somebody cannot just tell me that, oh, uh, they wrote it for her. It's not, it's not, she, she's a disgrace. She's a disgrace. What does she want? Is it not the same judge like herself that, 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 that stood her ground? During the during when when Yakubo was even threatening her in was it in Abia State or I don't know the state that stood her ground. The professor. She can write her name on the good side of history, but the thing is that they've just decided to be evil. They've just decided to be that. So they have to wait to. And bear whatever comes their whatever come their way, they have to. Now they will want they are running out, or who, whatever they are planning to to announce on Wednesday. So whenever they when they announce it, then they will expect the people to just keep mute, and it's going to be business as usual. Sometimes I also I also come to the conclusion that it's like they know what they they are doing, and Nigerians are just playing to their game too. If not, a country where there is law, a country where, where the rule of law really uh, uh, abides, how can somebody like Yakubu still come out and begin to give a press conference? How can he still come out without remorse to apologize to Nigerians for what he's, he has cost in terms of human resources, in terms of whatever losses that he has paid that he brought to the nation? emotionally do you know what this man did to nigeria we cannot really understand how how the damage that this man cost nigeria is going to be very it's going to take time before people will realize it if this guy has done the right thing we, we will not be talking about this now we will not be talking about this so um they say by or by now by it is true, it is still going to happen. They say our people will say, I like Monty. You are not going to you are not going to just leave this world like that and say one day you are not you are not live, you are you are human. So let them continue whatever they are doing. The roof that they said is going to fall because people are now even saying the judiciary should do the right thing. We will see whether the roof is not still going to fall. Is it not this, the country they are, they are living in? Let it, let, let it, let it spoil up. Make the fire burn, whether you know will burn them too. So they think they are from the moon? People, this man said it himself, Agbado, uh, 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 when he was even receiving his uh, 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 medal, that um, Yakubu elected gave to him. He said he knows that Nigerians did not vote him. He opened his mouth to say it, but he still insists to push and say he will rule over them, whether they like it or not. What can we do? Now that Nigeria did this word, why can't we say every evil? After all the intelligent and good people wait, 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 wait for the country. Only these few people just they dominate and make us to be in this pain. I don't know. I don't but when it just comes to Nigeria, I just sometimes it's it's so it's bittersweet. When you see the culture, you see the people, how good, how loving, how brilliant they are. Look at what we are doing abroad. Look at our people. How they sell. And back home, we are living like, like beggars. Millions are suffering just because of few people. And they say, don't talk. 
the so-called elders, the so-called religious elders, whoever they are, they say, just take it like that. Maybe it is the will of God. Not maybe that God told them. Because they have the monopoly of God. In fact, let me not, let me not come and start. I saw, it's so disheartening, so disheartening that, 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 uh, that we are passing through this. Thank you. I know how, whatever is going to come, how we're going to take it. We cannot, we cannot, nobody can predict it now. No one. So we just wait and see. So I eat for now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Alex, I appreciate your submission. Um, all right. Let me call and give us a mandate. Give us a mandate. Thanks for your patience. Uh, you, were, you were here yesterday when we were talking about all this. So the date is finally here. What's your take? Give us a mandate. Are you there? Hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you very much. Please talk to us. Okay, I mean, uh, thank you guys uh, very much. Uh, good evening to everyone. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on your location. Um, well, I don't think um, there's much to say. I mean, the first set is... Um, he said it's sixteenth, right? And now it's um, the sixth of uh, of September. Well, let's see what they are trying to do because uh, obviously we just the much anticipated date is already here, and so let's just sit down, fasten our belt, and see what they want to do. It is obvious people will be, will be anxious or uh, there will be anxiety or kind of um, um, much expectation in the air and um, people are anticipating to see what's going to come out and things like that. Because obviously you and I did not write the judgment, right? So you want to see what's going to be out of this all, um, all of this old charade and things like that. So, which is, which is normal. And like we've we've echoed and we've said, you do not need to um, trust the judiciary for them to do the right thing. They just have to do the right thing because that's where the hope of the common man uh, lies. It's only sad that it, it is only in Nigeria that election matters and then we have to be the president or be a governor or even a council or local government chairman is being decided in the court it is it is just super pathetic but you know that is what the system has created and we've waited we've we've gone to vote we've cast our vote most of us since last year we see out here because of this evil um going around in our country and because of the drug dealer certificate forger and all of that that we have and um, you have these elderly people that we believe should be our own parents trying to side this evil man from forgiven and forget about the past to oh dollar is going to bounce back and then get back to uh, pick up in with um, Naira is going to bounce back and then pick up with Naira uh, dollar. It just bothers and asks you where the nation is going to and things like that. And so all the Lee's wife also coming out to speak and Wiki came out, he did his own, and all the Lee's wife came out and also speak and uh, spoke and things like that. It just tells you what these guys how they've taken Nigeria and then where Nigeria is today. But the main, the main thing is for us as Nigerians, because um, no Nigerian is more Nigerian that, than other Nigerians. We all are Nigerians. Forget about your tribe. Forget about your religion now. We're not talking about tribalism here or your religion now. No. Take all of those and put them in. Just put them in your trunk and close it up 
and let's talk, let's talk as Nigerians now. Do we really want our country back or we give it all to these people? Forget your tribe, forget your religion. Let's talk about Nigeria now. Do you really want your nation back or you've decided, okay, you know what? It's like we can't get it back, let it go. And so that buttresses the point that if these guys, we told them about taking several days to decide their craze, if they decide to choose their craze and go the other way around, what will Nigerians do? What will, what will Nigerians do? Will, are we going to allow their statement of saying, oh, we don't trust social media, no, no, don't trust social media guys and things like that? Do we want to really make them believe that we are social media people or we are truly people on the ground? We do our things on social media and also we are also on the ground. If they decide to go the wrong way. Because nothing is working in the nation. Nothing is working. Nothing is working. And so people coming out to speak, saying all sort of things, that is not, that is not how a nation is being governed. Nation, nation thrives on, on principles. You must have things on ground that nation can, can thrive on. If you're going to get to the UK, okay, the last time you went to Nigeria, Mr. Elvis, you would have said, you know what? Although I came to Nigeria by plane, now I want to return to UK. I will just, I will just close my eyes now and, and, and I'm in UK. No, you have to jump in the plane and you have to land in, in UK. That is the principle. That is, a, that is how things have been laid down. And so we've gone to vote. We've casted our vote. We've done everything that we need to do. Even our own president saying, you know what, guys, let's wait and see how this whole thing is going to play out. We've waited. And die minute, you have people, several people coming out from the economy to the law to everything and all of a sudden nigeria is not even part of g20 so where's the drug dealer where's the drug dealer running to is he invite is he needed in india so whether people think that they know what the judiciary is going to do for me i don't know because i am not a superhuman being i am not god to know what they want to do in that regard. But they have the judgment. Their own is, we've presented our case in court. They've listened to us. Our principal was in court several times, was he in court to make his case heard. The first say 16, now he's deceased, okay. Decide and let's see, read out the judgment and let's see. All of a sudden, now the banks are shutting down. Well, it's more anticipated. I mean, it's more it's expected because whether any which way you go, let's just know. So, Nigerians, the question is. What are we going to do if these guys decide to go the wrong way? What will we do? When is this around the corner? On all of the things that we've read now, there's no particular time that, okay, well, the judgment is going to be by 12. The judgment is going to be, maybe they, maybe they, maybe they reveal that to the, to the um, lawyers of the different political parties but for, for, from what i've read so far i have not seen a particular time maybe the judgment will be delivered at 12 noon or at 1 p.m or at 2 p.m do they have something they're hiding maybe give us our mandate yes they are delivering that judgment tomorrow not wednesday in Agoyer, I'm breaking news. Judgment has been delivered. If you believe anything that comes out from Nigeria, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are going to be, go, be misled. Well, into the I mean, the, from the letter that we got from the court, they said Wednesday. And that's Wednesday is, is what people are saying. 
even our own our own principal has not told us maybe Tuesday. He said Wednesday. So, I mean, you, I mean, you, you know, one thing is that that's the kind of country that we run where you cannot even trust anything. So, but regardless, even if they like, they should deliver the judgment. All we want is give us the judgment because Peter will be won this election on the last line. Peter will be won this election. So the question is, Nigerians, are we getting ready? Either to celebrate on a big on a big time. So there are two things that are involved. The first one is we're going to celebrate big time on a big, big time. And the second thing is, okay. They may want to call for your rerun. I don't know, but the one I am anticipating for is that we are going to celebrate. And that's that is my hope. At least for once, let's get things right. For once, let's do things right as a nation. All of them jetting out. Well, you can only run. You cannot run forever. But you're going out, you're traveling, you're all of a sudden jumping on plane, the old lease or wherever. Do you have Rakadabra? Now, house, nine she go Sudan, they wait for, for Nyash. You will be here waiting for you guys. You cannot win this nation and then run to another nation. No, it's not possible. You'll be exposed. You cannot win this nation and then run to another nation. No, you can never. You can never run, run this nation and then go to somewhere else think that you can go and get, uh, get security or get protection. You must be brought down. You will be called out. So Nigerians, now I get Matawit, obedience all over the world. Now I get Egypt. These guys, they don't decide they did where they want Chris, they are Chris. Whether they go Chris and better way or they want Chris in a bad way. Make we wait. But as we wait, should in case they won't go the other way, wait till you go do them. Now make me and you they ask ourselves today. Whether you did for diaspora or you did for or day for day for house. What we won't do. What till we go do? Because the, the nation is porous. Everything is, it, it's just, it just you, you can't imagine, your, everything is just down. Nothing is working. Nothing is working. People are being paid every day. No security. No security anymore. No light. No water. No food. And maybe NLC, maybe they also know something. That's why they are also embarking on the strike. Well, all of these are just anticipation. But we'll just wait here and see how this judgment will end. But I'm very sure that either way, they just have to say something. They must have to say something. They cannot just leave the old thing hanging. Something must be said. So we wait here. We sit here. We pay here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Give us a mandate. Thanks for your wonderful uh, submission. God bless you. Let me take two calls before I come back to uh, others on the panel. But before that, let me appreciate Stella Ima Semedo. Thank you very much for your super chat. Uh, your text. Thanks. Thank you for all you do. Mr. Elvis, may the May the Lord Almighty uplift you more and more. May you never walk in vain. Amen. Amen. And you too. Thank you very much, madam. I really do appreciate you. God bless you. All right. Let me pick this call. Thank you, Madam Joy, for calling in. Good evening to you, ma'am. Please talk to us. Madam Joy, are you there? Yes, I am. Hello. You were not talking. Hello. Thank you. Yes. 
Okay, hello everyone, Mr. Niger Watch. Oh, God bless you. Thank you, ma'am. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for for driving this. Is it a boat or a ship or what do we call this this gathering for a hundred for a year plus? God bless you. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for your resilience, your tenacity. Thank you. Again, I say thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. I thank everyone here. I thank these wonderful panelists that have stood and stood to make sure that we stay on the watch. Mama Diaspora, thank you so much. You are a mother with example. Uh, the, this is a, a, a season that we have come to know. Nigeria is not divided by religion or by tribe. We are really uh, uh, divided by evil and good. And all the good people are here. And I thank everyone. This is an opportunity to just appreciate each and every comment sections. I say thank you. My fellow comment warriors, we did it. I thank everyone. Just one quick observation. I, I was here yesterday, this morning, and now we are here. One thing that I, it, I, it, it was a shock, but not a shock. While everyone was talking, I could, there was no one, there was like an absolute no trust in the judiciary. I was, I just had my mouth open. I began to reminisce and was trying to bring my head to say, someone say, yes, don't worry, our judiciary, they will do. And I went and tried to, you know, reprogram and begin to think. The only time we ever had that something good came out of judiciary was the resilience of Mr. Peter Obi in Anambra. We have had how judiciary overturned. There was one in Imo State, three. They took this one out, took this one out, now brought the one that swallowed the pill, the one, the, the one that was going to do the bidding of the cycle, cycle of evil that have ruled Nigeria for the last only God knows how long. So that brought me to this. And like everyone knows, everyone feels. I believe that, to be honest, if judiciary do the right thing, let's say tomorrow, uh, on Wednesday or whatever they want to read, they do like point by point by point, they do the, some people will faint too. Some people will say, this is not real. So how, how, it's like a shock, like, okay, this is, that means the only fools in this union in this relationship, you people hear me a lot. I talk when I want to analyze the, pro the, the situation in Nigeria. I always use a, a husband and wife relationship because that's the closest thing that, you know, when you have an abusive, evil husband, that woman, the only thing that can take her out is if she's wise enough to run away. But to be a lot of women that have died in their marriages because they, they believe that evil husband will one day do something right. Now the question, the, what I'm now want to ask is that it looks like we all know, and now we, I say that it looks like we Nigerians are the fools, the fools that have believed that one day the elders will do the right thing, that this a judiciary or the politicians they will do something Thank right, you. which by God's grace may be on Wednesday. They will shock all of us and maybe a few of us will faint for seeing that they did the right thing at, at for the first time in this entire quagmire that we have come to see ourselves in so i just want to plead with everyone you know we our nerves are wrecked i talk about ptsd i think if you if you check every nigeria there is a if it is not level one if it is level 0 0.1 trauma this is what we have gone through. But this is the end of it. I say it again. And when I say a new Nigeria, please, you all bear me. Thank what you. I'm talking about is a people. We are here. We have moved on. Thank a you. new Nigeria, a people, we have moved on. It's Thank either you. in one piece or in pieces. We have Thank moved you, on. Mother. We are awake. It Thank can you. never be the same. 
the, 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 we have we, we can't afford right. this. Let us continue to think thank you, and see thank what you. we can thank do you. to thank get you. out thank of you. this evil. God thank bless you all. Thank you, man. God bless you too. Thank you very much. Um all right, let me pick this call as well. I have another person right here quickly. Hello, thank you very much, sir, for calling in. Uh, please talk to us. Yeah. yeah, hello, Mr. Mr. Elvis. Yes, sir. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you, sir. Yes. Please talk to us. Yes. Yeah, thank you for taking my call. And thanks, thanks you for all the uh, panel members there. Uh, Mr. Elvis, well, the other time I called in, I kind of said to you that, you know, these people will do the same thing that they did when, you know, uh, the uh, residents from uh, Abuja, when they went in to uh, seek for the 25%, and the judges on the day of that deliberation, they gave reasons that they will not, you know, they didn't do anything, and therefore, this man still stays in power. And I was saying to you that, the, the same thing may happen, but thank God if this date that they have on the 6th is actually official, which I'm still doub doubting, what I'm saying going to let you guys know is that whatever we are doing, we will propose to do, we should still try to carry it out. Because my, my take is that because they know that they can't keep silent, they would have to say, make a decision, say something. They are going to have it, you know, like, Two people might be might be in favor of P2B, and three of them might be against P2B, so that they will make it look like oh we have made judgment, but majority is you know carries the, the I mean carries the vote. So this is why I'm saying people should still be ready for what they want to do. They should be ready immediately. They they, they have this split decision. They would want to use it as you know like a camouflage. That's why they want to say they want to show it live. I'm telling you, I'm letting us know that this is what they are planning. The two people will say, oh, we're for OB, and the other three will say, oh, we're still for whatever decision that will go in favor of uh, the children. Panel, okay. mark this, and keep it, and then watch. I don't have much to say. I'm okay. really, you know, I'm, I'm really excited, too, that they are going to make a judgment. But Thank you. <laughs> the Nigerian judiciary, I, I don't trust them. Thank I you, sir. They don't trust them. Thank they you just very much. pull a wood over, over our all face. Right, That's sir. all. They Thank want to pull wood. That's Thank you. Want to Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. God all bless right. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good evening. Thank you Thank very you, much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me pick this call quickly as well. Thank you very much, sir, for calling in uh, uh brother from Abuja. Please talk to me. Go ahead. Two minutes. Hello. Hello, we can hear you. Go ahead, sir. Good evening to you. Two minutes, two minutes. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening, everyone in panel. Please, uh, I, I, just, I just want to say a few things. I call on all Nigerians, all citizens of Nigeria, all obedience Nigeria, the whole Nigeria, I call you, I invite you to be at court on Wednesday. Every one of us to step out to be at court on Wednesday. No one can decide for us. That to be at court, that to not go to court. No one can decide that for us. See, I, I learned in uh, SSS, we are saying we should not go out. Please, every Nigeria should be at court on one day. Then, my, another information again, judiciary, please, we are out on one day to hear judgment and to receive our judgment because we know who we vote for. We we'll vote for Mr. Peter Gregory Obi, and we want to see the judgment on Wednesday coming to us. That's all I want to say. Thank Goodbye. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Um, for me, everybody coming out on Wednesday to go to the same court, I think is is a good. Uh, I like that submission, you know. But unfortunately, <laughs> Nigerians. Me, I don't know the one with the day for his side, to be honest. I, I'm not too sure at this moment the one with the day for his side, but let's see. A witness is around the corner, like I said, it could be uh, the other way around. All right, uh, Ghost Power, you're not picking. I was trying to call you back, you know. So uh, let me pick another person's call. Thank you, Mr. Chukuno, so for calling in. Thank you, sir. Let's talk to us. You have two minutes. Good evening to you. Yeah, thank you. 
Thank you, Mr. Evans. Thank you, uh, all the panelists. Those are the comment session. I just want to the news broke today that Wednesday will be the judgment day. For mm. me, I'm still I just because it's just like the uh, interview between uh, Jeffrey Gutterman and uh, David Hunde. For the judiciary to let go this criminal for the, the, about seven packages he's carrying, they will look so foolish in the eyes of Nigerians and in as eyes of the community. So it will be very difficult. It will be like a great, it will be like Mountain Everest for them to climb, for them to try and look for any technicality to dismiss double nomination, invalid nomination for feature, what and what have you. So for me, I, I, I can't just wait to see how they will do it. Then secondly, for them to now tell us that over 18,000 blood on readable results, certified through copy from IREF, and over 8,000 blood on readable documents, hard copy, which, which on which INEC relied to uh, fraudulently select this uh, drug criminal. Then, when, if you put that together, we're talking about over 26,000 pulley unit results to now say nothing is wrong with that, all is well, it will be it will be impossible. It will be impossible in the sense that Tinubu did not help the judges because his baggages are too much. APC didn't help them. So Mayor Dili can be saying whatever she's saying. She can call Olani Bekun the best lawyer in the world. That one is their, their own cup of tea. All we I know is that APC didn't help them. Tinubu himself didn't help them. So they've made their own job very difficult. So it is very easy to rule. It's a very easy case. So our fingers are crossed, and we hope for our redemption because we are tired of Nigeria. Everybody is tired. People are tired in the Yoruba land where I live. People are tired in the north. People are tired in the east. People are tired everywhere. We are fed up. We are tired. So Wednesday is the day of our redemption. So thank you. God bless you, my brother. I appreciate you. Yes, uh, Wednesday uh, is the D-Day. Okay, um, let me hear from the next person here. Thank you very much, sir, for calling in. Good evening to you, sir. Talk to us. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Good evening to you, sir. Uh, go ahead, talk to us. Good evening, sir. Hello, dear, sir. Uh, honestly, I'm first up, uh, but uh, I'll see what I can. Now, let me start by saying this. The tribunal was holding their, you know, time. They subpoenaed Bola Tinubu, he didn't show up. They subpoenaed uh, uh, Mahmoud Yakubu, the chairman of INEC, he did not show up. Nobody is talking about these things. Now, they are putting Nigerians in a very tight corner and making this look as if, well, they might go for that same midnight uh, talk again. I want to say this just to, you know, air my own mind. I don't have any fear of them. I'm not convinced at all that they are going to make that mistake because that will be the worst thing Nigeria would have done to itself. And the, the, the judges of Nigeria would have known that they have ruined that country forever. Because all over the world, uh, when the people know that the law is the last resort, when things go wrong. Now, if they venture to pronounce Bola Tinubu with all this load we have around him, if they pronounce him, I guess the best thing to do is for everybody just to find the way to his father's house and go and sit down and wait. But I am still optimistic that they will not make that mistake, uh, Mr. Niger Watch. Okay. By God's grace, we are getting our mandate. People should come out just like the other fellow who spoke before this last person that talked now said, let people come out and wait for them. They should not make trouble. A military won't attack anybody or police attacking anybody when you have not you know, started fighting anybody. But if they venture to want to start harassing Nigerians with arms, well, I think uh, the, the, world, the world court is still there. And our signatures can do something. 
Let me, I will stop it at this. I give other people the chance, but God will help us. Your, your, your activities will not be for nothing. Mm -hmm. I want to say it and say it again and again. You will not do all these things you did for over a year plus now and the end up in nothingness. Thank you, sir. God Thank bless you. you. God bless you. All right, uh, call us. I'm done with you for now. Uh, but before I'll call on the next person, um, you know, I would like us to quickly, um, this is what is trending right now on Twitter. You know, you can see that particular one right there. Remember the PPT I've announced today that on the 6th of, uh, which is Wednesday, September, there will be the judgment. And they also ask Nigerians to sit at home to watch it uh, live because they are going to televise it. So according to this update here, the PEPT may not air the live broadcast or the final verdict on the 6th of September 2023. The former announcement could be a trick to preventing Nigerians from coming to the court on that day. We therefore encouraged all the Abuja residents and other well-meaning Nigerians to show up in court in their large numbers. Kindly disregard the promising of the live broadcast by the tribunal. It might not be possible. For me, <clears throat> I agree with this statement because they might put that out to let everybody know. As, as, after all, they said they go show up for television. Make I also that for home. This is your life. This is your future. You know. Now, now just know this is your future. This is your future. It seems for me, eh? Me they not say I not do this book that make me do. It. I'm totally down. I'm looking forward to that one next day, but I'm down, to be honest. Then I have another one here. Credible source available have it that the corrupt Justice Mary Odili and her husband and children just ran to the UK after working to truncate justice in Nigeria. Those will set Nigeria on fire will not escape the fire no matter how long they run. All right, um, that is the same woman, you know. I thought I should bring this here. Um, I would like to quickly call on the next people because I have one or two videos to play, you know, relating to what we're talking about right now. But I, a lot of people will waiting. To, it, it, it will be unfair uh, for me to just move on with another video like that. But let me call on Mr. Edwin. Thank you very much, sir, Mr. Edwin, for joining us again for the second time today. I'd like you to talk to us uh, uh, eight minutes. Good evening. Okay, Mr. Edwin, you're not there. No. Uh, Mr. Edwin, go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much, Naja Watch. I'm thank grateful you. that uh, you are resilient and uh, your strength is not failing you. By the grace of Almighty, you are a wonderful man when it comes to you keeping time and doing this job fervently for the entire Nigeria as a country. I appreciate you and God appreciate you. Thank you, sir. I say thank you very much. You see, you see this uh, Mary Odili, the former River State Governor wife. I'll tell you, she was a Supreme Court judge like the address her. How did she get there? Ask yourself. The husband was was a dupe of the fraud in River State. And after she will now ends up as a first lady, how did she not climb there? Is it by merit? What was the I mean the 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 the, the, the classification that brought her to that place as a Supreme Court judge? This is another second Bukachua. I don't know what they call her. This is another second Bukachua. And uh, if we all remember, allegedly, a week plus ago, you know, she was the one that was on uh, social media that uh, she regretted that she tried to bribe the judges with over 5 billion and uh, it's like uh, they are not yielding. I would forgotten. It was all there allegedly in the social media. We saw most of these things. You see, in this dispensation of what we are saying now, the person that has hit me most is the former number one citizen of Nigeria, which is uh, President Jonathan Goodluck, who gave up power to save Nigeria. 
to refuse Nigerians' red tomatoes playing on the street. He knew that Tunubu signed an agreement that he, he certificate, he does not have certificate. There was an FBI report to that. It, I mean, the EFCC was copied. And all these things has been going on. Even at the party level, this is where Jonathan would have come out and say, an elderly state man, a former number one citizen to say, this one cannot contest election before my eyes. You know the report, you, are, you, are, you don't have certificate. But he kept quiet. Only to come out three, four days ago. They are one of these people that is truncating this nation. Keeping quiet for the worst to start happening. Before you want to open your mouth, they said it's too late when the head is off. Sorry, Pai Dwayne. It's what you just did. Can I interject you, sir? Yes. Yeah, well, uh, with, when you say that um, Jonathan should have come out, but Jonathan also was at the, he was invited to Asurok when this guy um, was uh, pronounced by Mahmoud Yakub as a president. The wife also, I think, had a meeting with Tunumbu's wife, right? Do you yeah. think you're going to uh, about this guy? No, listen to me. You see, what we are saying now, if we have to charge Tunubu, for example, for perjury, Jonathan is supposed to be charged along as a co-conspirator. Do you know that? Yeah, but what I'm saying is... If the case of perjury... Is, listen, the case Trump is facing now, with those people that is charged with him in Georgia, what is the difference? Yeah, but this is on Nigerian. No, 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 no. My, my, uh, listen, listen. Uh, give us our mandate. I know you to be as spoken as straight. What is the difference, please? Can you tell me? There's no difference, but what we are saying is okay. No. So, do, do you think that, like, uh, Mr. Elvis will, will tell us here, and like we all will say, do you think if Ikwe Kweramadu was in Nigeria, he would have gotten where he got in the UK? He would not. There is not there is nothing that Jonathan is gonna say because he's also was gonna benefit from this guy. Why was he going to Asso Rock? Okay, now the question is this. You see, I used the word just and I said it is too late to cry when the head is already off. Then he would have just keep his peace. Exactly. Just keep quiet. He would have just when you know there was a written agreement that you must not dare to contest election. You saw him coming out in the party level. And that was what chased him back in 2011. You saw him coming back in, in, in party level. You see, they say in every room there must be an element of truth. If I you see? Yes, sir. Even, even, Jonathan is even too late. Extraordinary late. Obasanjo had everything possible to have tamed this guy because they have his case file already around 1999. When following me and all of this, we were making noise. So Jonathan even was, uh, he was even, Obasanjo, we have, they have. Yeah, that is, I, I understand that's the case of Obasanjo yes. and uh, the guy that challenged him under yes. PDP. I remember very well. You see, we don't want to go back too far because we want to talk at the surface and the periphery, I mean, a periphery issue that is surrounding our discussion for now. That's why we just at times we cut off a lot of other things. You see? This, this thing is so painful that a former number one citizen, this man in 2011, people got him to sit. FBI wrote back, brought every evidence against him, and you put saw you tender it before him, and you put asked him to sign that he will not contest the election. And he did. And for you, for him not to be exposed, he started campaigning, supporting your campaign. Now, after just some time, he came back again. You could not call him, my friend. What are you doing, sir? At your age, I expect you to respect yourself and honor yourself. What are you doing now? You didn't do that. Now, quarter two. You see, there's, one, there's a word in Benin. Any time you dip your finger into your ass, what comes out of it is always a smelling odor. Nothing more. Okay? So, this man knows everything. What pays me is that this thing is documented. Copy to EFCC. But you kept quiet all along. You saw it to they say, carry them when they are young. 
kill the bad egg, destroy the bad eggs when they are still very young and fresh. Don't let them grow. Cut them when they are young. Because when they already grow old, maybe you can't be able to more, I mean, modify them to the way you want. So when this man was young in this arena, yes, thank you. I do. Can I interject you for a second, please? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Say something, my brother. We are all concerned. Say something. You see, if you blame Obasanjo, blame Gojonathan, blame A, B, C, D, right? What about Kiyamu first? Of Kiyamu, who supposedly was a lawyer that was full, that, that was actually following this matter legally in those days, in the past, about uh, to the boost, uh, certificate and all that. Today, what happened? This is somebody who is a lawyer. I, I think yeah, uh, uh, for Professor Kayamo uh, case, I will tell you, it's a very simple thing to answer. Professor, uh, Professor Kayamo, that is a stomach infrastructure. These are people who will, who will even lie, deny seeing who assassinated their mother because of the settlement they are going to get. That will tell you how worse it is. You know what it means for your mother that carry you in her womb? You will deny to say you did not see somebody that murdered her. Just because of the settlement you are going to get. That is how what this man is. So is that a human being? You are, you are making an example with a puppet of a slave. These are people who call themselves son. But he's a slave. A slave to a fellow man. He does not have a stand. Anything can go. Pronounce it. It's so painful. And uh, I know another thing again that the judiciary might be afraid of by thinking this man is a tough man. If we give judgment against him, it happens, he I mean he retrieved the, the mandate again at the Supreme Court. He might dismiss us. He might use his power through the uh, Minister for Justice. I mean, to retire us at early stage. My gentlemen, do the needful. Retire with dignity and pride. If you don't know, because some of you are worried with that. Okay, now what about if Obi now finally carry out the fight to the end, and he demanded to do the stuff for him? What is then your option? When he knew that you knew the, you all knew the fact, but you refused to do the right thing. Is not the same thing, gentlemen. Stand on the center line. Don't stand on right or left. Be on the center line. Like you are, you are like you are you are walking in the, in the street of in the border street that has two roads. When this immigration is coming, jump to the other side and said, I'm in I'm in Mexico. When the other immigration is coming, jump into the other side and said, I'm in America land, America soil. So is this is very clear. Let them understand one thing. Neither one is good for them. But stand and be brave. Take your decision. Take your stand. Do the needful. So you will be honored. You will be respected. It's not somebody that was that was that that, that was honored, respected, and then it, it was appreciated when they did the needful during the uh, the governorship election. It's not the same Nigerians that did it. So when we see and when the people see that you are being tortured and being marginalized for standing the fame of this country, for saving Nigeria, and saving the people in it. My dear brother, people will make you never to hungry before you die. There are still good Nigerians that will look for you and do the needful for you. Now, Tinubu has traveled to India. For me, this must be the same travel, a young man travel to Mecca. Because he traveled to India, now maybe, He's already aware that it's not in his favor, and he will decide to go to India on the name of carrying out the national assignment. While coming back, he will just transit in France and then seek for political asylum because he don't he, he feel or he might be thinking he might be arrested. Nobody knows where the judgment, which side the judgment is going to go. Can't have two sides. When a woman is pregnant, All when, right. the, child, when the birth is given, there might be a baby boy or a baby girl. So he might also transit while coming back if the judgment goes against him or the ruling goes against him 
and seek political asylum in France. Macron might even give him a room. Who knows? Because he's going with a lot of them. So he, he, might, he, might, he might be leaving Nigeria because he's not sure of himself. We should understand that. Because this man has never been good in any form. He thinks he can hold Nigeria hostage the way he held Lagos hostage to date. He held Lagos hostage by paying ransom to him in the name of Togate. That's exactly what's happening. He had Lagos to, to ransom. Mr. Dwayne Randall, please. So, whatever we are seeing, we all should know that this man cannot say he's more than every Nigerian. Because a lot of people will see beyond him and know where he's going to land even before he starts. So, I hope in the other way around that, uh, like, now, like what he's doing now that the banks should not open tomorrow and there. Uh, you know, what is different from what the Mefele did? What is different? So it's a pity that what is happening now is unspeakable, but I know this fight is not the fight of Nigerians alone. It's the fight from above, from heaven. So that thing that God has started, they, before they will sign and give the true judgment that will give everyone joy, they will not be themselves. They will be deaf and their eyes Will, be, will not yield to open. Their eyelid will not rise until they do the needful by the power of Almighty and by the suffering of every Nigerian. So shall it be. So I yield for now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Edwin. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Um, let me call on uh, Mr. Judin. Mr. Judin, thank you very much. Are you present? Yeah. Yes, I'm here. Thank you, everybody, and uh, thank you all our listeners and uh, all the panel members, both those who are here and uh, Tom all watching from the background for your untiring effort in sustaining these fights. This uh, fight and engagement that we have been for the past one year is like uh, fighting for the of, uh, our country, Nigeria, or for the soul of Nigeria. Uh, honestly, most times I, you know, the reason why I don't come out here every day or often, you know, sometimes I, you know, I feel so bad. I feel so, it's like, what am I going to say? Not that I don't have what to say, but, you know, um, the pain with which we see things continue to happen every day in Nigeria, and uh, the people who seem to be perpetrators of this same evil don't even give a hoot about what is about what their actions are causing on the general uh, populace. I mean, to me, it's, 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 it's mind boggling, it's unthinkable. And then to also, um, you know, think of how human beings could be so hard, could be so heartless, could be so hardened in their quest for, for, for their inordinate ambition, you know, for, for, for their selfish gain to the detriment of the people they are supposed to provide soccer for. So all those things every day, it, you know, I continue to think it's like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's sad. A case like this that we have all been fighting for, for the past one year, um, for the past uh, uh, five months or thereabout, now, it's because we live in a country like Nigeria that a case as glaring as this has become like a toss of the coin, you know, head or tail. Nobody knows where, where it's going to go. Uh, yes, this, the news that uh, the judgment is going to come uh, on 6th, to me, it's with such a great uh, misfeeling. Happiness on one side that yes, this thing will finally be over so that we know, you know, yes, uh, uh, what is the situation will be, uh, which is, you know, our desire coming to power that is getting back the, the mandate. And then on the other hand, sadness, on the other hand, in the sense that we are still in that country called Nigeria, 
where the truth are never called the truth, where black can easily be called white, just for the safe fish game of few. Odile, uh, Mary Odile, we are talking about her speech was like kind of, uh, yes, I listened to that, listened to that speech. It was, you know, usually in Nigeria, the, the people, the people from the East, you know, somehow have always become, uh, uh, they have always remembered them whenever they want, Nigerian want to carry out his evil agenda to use them as a, as a, as their mouthpiece to speak to their, more or less to their people. You know, I believe they have concluded what they are going to do. And her coming out to speak regarding um, the, the, the election, when that was not as, exactly what she was supposed to say, is like, you know, trying to let the people know those, you know, the obedient, even if you didn't call them out, we know what, we know those who was, whom she was referring to. To let them know that, listen, you can't burn down the house because you didn't win an election. If you didn't win today, election is seasonal. You can come back another time and win. They are, you know, they are part of the people they are sending to prepare the people's mind or, you know, from whatever eventuality that is going to, or whatever they have planned, the evil thing they have planned to do on the 6th. You know, as if somebody who um, said, you know, the Elvis, the... Um, the message you brought up, you brought up, you know, you read the other time concerning the comment somebody made uh, about the um, broadcast of the listen. I want to say that was as if the person knew my mind. That was a that is a total scam. They just did that. I mean, look at look at it. Think about it this way: the people that refuse to broadcast the proceeding. The proceeding that is not even uh, as weighty as this judgment that everybody, the whole world, has been waiting about, uh, been waiting for. The people that refuse to pro broadcast it, how are they now going to come and broadcast the the um, the judgment? They are using. They simply want to use that to cajole everybody to stay at home so that they do their evil and carry out their evil plan. Perhaps again the same way they did it when Mahmoud. Then when people we are when men we are asleep, they now announce the results. Perhaps that is the way they want to do the same thing again, and they want to use that to keep people at home so that they don't come out and protest. So Nigeria, shine your eyes. Be, you know all those anger, panted anger that has been on for many months, many years, especially since this man hijacked this power since uh, he was inaugurated. And everything, so many things changed that Nigeria has become worse than um, terrorist Buhari's time. That's why how how was that eight years regime of Buhari was? Tinubu's regime, few months of regime, has even toppled uh, his four years of uh, apart, um, of, of uh, Buhari's regime. All those pains, you push, you come out on that day, on the sixth. As you are coming out, arm yourself with two feelings, with two, you know, feeling that's feeling a sense of relief that you will get a mandate back and the joy that will ensue and the celebration. And then also the other feeling of any, should there be any eventuality because of uh, the way Nigeria is and the way the people we are dealing with, what they are capable of doing. Because they care not about Nigeria, they care not about you, they care not whether that country is, is burnt. As long as they are able to continue to put themselves in a position to continue to steal our money, our common good, our common wealth, that is all they care about. That is all. This is the time, because if we fail, if we fail to get this thing, I don't know any other opportunity we will have in that country that will be that will be up to this. I don't know if we if we will ever have such an opportunity again to get close to redeeming Nigeria from this evil evil, evil vultures. I don't know. I just don't know. People, you know, 
Looking at, uh, let me go back to Peter uh, Major Odile again. Um, there have always been this saying that what uh, men can do, um, women can do better. Women say they can do and they can do better. Somehow I, I tend to believe it. I'm beginning to believe it because uh, Major Odile so far is becoming one of the worst, one of the most uh, corrupt justice in Nigeria. So far since I was born, so far. Just like Deziani, you know, be, became one of the worst thief, you know, looter of Nigerian treasury. And she's still there somewhere, you know, relaxing and perhaps waiting for some day, day that things will ease up in Nigeria. She will come back home and be enjoying all the billions of dollars he stole from us. Many of the least, her two daughters, I don't know if, if we know, some of us know this, her two daughters have already been appointed as judges. Are they the only one qualified? Are, by the way, what criteria do they use in, in, in selecting them to be judges? Both the, the husband, both Mary and the, and the and the go and the and the husband. Just an interjection, Juden. Juden. Huh? Please. Just an interjection, yes. just brief. Go ahead. All right. Not only not only I was trying to do even an expose. Mary Odele, they have they, she has uh, four children, a boy and three and girls. Three, two girls, three girls. And three of the girls. Two two of the girls. Two two no 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 two no two of, of the, the two, two of the girls two. are judges. The one uh -huh. that is a doctor is the present commissioner for health in River State. And they are and they are grooming him to be a so, governor. Uh, uh, in future, then, uh, in then future. The, gov the governor, maybe I will speak through my time. There's a uh, judicial institute in River State, their own, named after Ma uh, Mary Odele. We, we, we just so we can build it. Then there's a medical uh, one type of something. All right, after that's the where you will explain better when I call, come to you. Yes, yes. Please, yes. Us, yes. Judy. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let me let me just uh, finish my point. Now, um, apart from that, also, Mary Odele was one of the instrumental um, 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 uh, point that Mwike did all the hard work he did in uh, in, uh, in 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 Harcourt. Okay. Now, um, why we are going? Why we are talking about this is let us not also forget. You see, I know this is not the time to blame. Uh, one another. But let us not forget that most of us Nigeria contributed to what we are suffering today. And people might ask, why am I saying that? I am saying that in the sense that, for instance, like the Bible says in Ecclesiastes, that because of uh, that, uh, that um, that's in, in, it's the first in Acts, where he says, in Acts chapter 12, where he says that, and when King Herod saw that the killing of, uh, of, some, of some church people at that time, Please, the people he went um, and the clean of James, he went ahead to arrest Peter to kill others. Okay, now we live in a society that many of us quote uh, justice to just um, injustice uh, done to one is injustice done to others. We don't even it's like we don't even understand this. What that simply means is that whatever injustice you condone that is done to anybody, whether you hate that person or not. And you condone it. Trust me, it's going to come. That injustice one day will, re will reach you. And that is what we are, we are witnessing today. We are all crying now what these people have done, have done us at the pole. But, but we have all, many of us today that are crying this injustice, up to today still, still can't see what injustice that is being meted to somebody called Nandi can still languishing in jail. Many of us still don't can't even don't even want to talk about it, and many also don't even want to talk about what Nigeria did to Biafra. And when people like oh, when they raise it, some people get angry. Biafra, why Igbo people? Why are they talking Biafra? This happened many years ago. Is the same injustice? Excuse me, sir. Excuse you are diverting. We have two days. I am not diverting. No, hold on, sir. Hold on, please. What we are hold on. Today. Hold on, sir. Please. It's not diversion. So that Who we realize now? this. Please, hold on. Please, you are breaking the rules. We have judgment in less than uh, forty-eight hours. You are diverted to something else. Are we not creating problem for ourselves like that? Please, talk about why we are here. After the judgment, you can bring this. Please. I'm not talking about Biafra or now the canoe now. 
Don't let it look like we are the problem of ourselves. We are talking about Justice Odili, talking about the, the, the pending situation. You are diverting. And this, right you're misunderstanding me. I'm not diverting, but that's okay. I am not diverting. I'm only trying to let us know that many of the problems we are suffering today, we brought it upon ourselves through the way that we have always acted when we see somebody being done wrong and we feel that since it doesn't concern us, then we look aside. Okay? I am not saying that that, that we should, you know, not, you know, um, um, it, it's something that trying to recall our conscience to know that we also should have a, a, a we should search our, our, our hearts, our mind, so that as we apportion blame to all these politicians, to know that we, are, we also are responsible. Most of us are responsible in bringing about the pain we are going through today. I was watching one video, one video um, uh, from China, um, that was taken about China, about the electricity um, the project that China is carrying about, that is costing them about nine billion, and I was shocked. Nine billion that was supposed to be, when it's finished, was supposed to be one to be one of the largest in the world. And how much did uh, uh, um, Obasanjo uh, and Atiku spend in the electricity in Nigeria during that term? It's about sixteen billion uh, naira and uh, dollar dollars to generate darkness. But is it not Obasanjo today that people, many Nigerians today are praising as a state's good man and he parading himself about as saint? That is the kind of thing we are talking, I'm talking about. We, have, we, really, have, we really have a lot to do. Yes, we are, we are, our focus is ensuring that this mandate is retrieved. But after that, by the grace of God, we have a lot to do. We are citizens. If we must sustain or bring about the kind of nation, country that we, that we want to be, Okay, that as I'm even sh even more shocked today that many Nigerians that are fighting for this injustice right. that come to us at the pole by Mahmoud and uh, um and, and Baba and uh, Buhari uh, Tunumbu. I even okay. what is happening in nah, United States the United States the 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 legal case that Trump is going. They are even okay. defending Trump. Mr. Judy, are you even listening to me at all? Thank you. Please. Um, sometimes I have a headache when I'm trying to correct people on this platform, to be honest. We've been on a journey since April last year till now. We have less than 48 hours or 50 hours to go. We are bringing Biafra situation, bringing up the canoe. Even when you already be stigmatized, sometimes I ask myself, where is our problems coming from? The same way you were talking just now, oh, we are the problem of ourselves. Me, myself, I do ask myself sometimes, where is our problem coming from? It's really from us. Because you said nobody said anything about Nabdi Kanu. Everybody has said everything about Nabdi Kanu. These satanic people, they decided not to release him. Why? Because the number one seat, when it's wrong, everything, every other thing is wrong. Okay, you want the people in Nigeria, all of them to go and all the Igbos or Edo or whatever in Nigeria, all of them to go and take their lives before you know they've done something? If I should ask now, Mr. Judy, what have you done about now? Have you seen now the case is just a symbol, it's just a metaphor? On no, what you shouldn't go this there. It's just a metaphor. For the eight hours ago. You shouldn't go there. Let's take correction, please. We, we are here. The title is there. These people are stigmatize you. Why are you rubbing it on your face again? If you want to say this, say it from Thursday. It is cool. I don't understand. Anyway, let's just move on. Thank you. F, uh, Oga F. Manor, please talk to us. Eight minutes, please. Eight minutes. Thank you. Good afternoon, my brother, Evis. How are you today? Thank you very just much. calm down. Just take, just take it easy, you know. Uh, good afternoon, everyone in the panel. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everyone listening and connected around the globe. Um, first of all, I've been listening and at the same time sleeping, waking up. You know, today is uh, our labor day here in the US, so I've been resting. First of all, I want to say um, I'm listening to 
virtually all the submissions and i i noticed that 70 percent of people that commented and you know some you know the, uh, you know you know submitted their uh, opinion have been on the negative part and i don't know why i i'm not trying to blame them anyway you know we are not trying to blame them at all first of all after the election they say we should go to court who have gone to court. They never believe the humongous evidences that we brought before them. They never expected it. They thought it's those usual go to court that once you don't mention court, maybe the other contestant will just give up. But unfortunately, the obedience and the well meaning Nigerians went to the extreme make sure that they brought all the dots, cross all the T's. Evidence that cannot be denied. Evidence that is overwhelming. That is that. For Bola Tribu's uh, certificate saga, the political scene, the political cabal, they're already aware of Bola Tribu's uh, political uh, uh, certificate saga even when he was still a governor but little do they know that the obedience and the way many nigerians will dig deep to this extent and bring out facts that is beyond expectation that is why some of them that are already aware of it before they started speaking out now in the 11th 11th hour not as if they're not aware but they never knew that the obedience will go this far to bring out facts about these certificates. That is, by the way, my submission here today is to ensure that our mandate will be retrieved, is to also encourage every one of us, those who have spoken before, that our mandate will be retrieved. Let's not be pessimistic. Whoever that's going to UK, whoever that's going to India, that's not an issue. If they cannot prove otherwise, looking at the evidences that have been brought before them, if they cannot bring a counter evidence to show that this popular table won the election legitimately, then relax. The judges will judge rightly. Just watch and see. Me, I just, my wife was telling me today, ah, she's having a mixed feeling. I said, keep your mixed feeling. For me, I'm optimistic. Because the way we are saying this is as if we are giving this man too much power that is now more powerful than the constitution that we have. That is no more, is now, is now more powerful than in Nigeria as a whole with over 250 billion people. No, no. No. So let's keep hope alive. We just we are just counting less than 48 hours. And I guarantee you it will favor the obedience, it will favor the Labour Party, it will favor the PO. Because there is no way they will subvert this judgment to favor the There's no way. There is no way. I'm not seeing it possible. Evidences, the evidences are not just one, two, three. Overwhelming. When something is overwhelming, you as a judge, where, or where are you going to hide to judge otherwise? Judges judge with evidence. And the evidences are there. So let's look at it that way. Go to court, we have gone to court. We follow the process judiciously. We've got to this level where we are, we are today. Are you say you are going to judge otherwise? No, <laughs> it's not happening. Let's just watch us. It's not going to happen. So let's not be pessimistic at all about the whole process, about what is going to be the outcome. If they like, let them delay it in next year. But the truth is that the evidence is enough. We have evidences, we have constitutional ones. That that one has nothing to do with evidence. 25% of our cities, it is also there. 
So there are so many parameters that is enough for you to relax, sleep well, drink your champagne, and expect the good results. So there is nothing to worry about, uh, Mr. Elvis. Where many Nigerians, obedience in the house, please relax, tighten your seatbelt. I guarantee you, these judges will do the needful. All eyes are on the judiciary. I don't want to overstretch it, but for me, I'm 100, I want op optimistic. Say, so call those things that be not as though they were. Instead of me to be saying something negative that has not even happened, for me, I look forward to the positive result. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, um, Oga F. Emmanuel. May God bless you. Thanks for your submission. Thank you, my people. I understand you all. Please, let's stay focused. It's very, very important we stay focused. Um, for me, I'm not happy that I've been on this since April last year. I cannot talk about something else anymore. Just coming here, judiciary, 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 you know, a repetitive uh, title every day. Um, uh, is coming to an end. Let's stay focused, please, please. You know, since they announced these things since, since morning, everybody are thinking differently, you know, because I don't trust this country. I don't know what I should expect from them. You know, let's stay focused. Come on, guys. You know, we all have tried. Everybody have tried. Everybody. Everybody. You know, may we never let boy in vain, you know. Thank you. Thank you, my people. Press on the like button. Help us to share. Let me call on uh, Mr. Um, Augustian. It's good to have you here with us. Please talk to us, sir. Thank you. Good evening to you. Thank you. Yes. Um, good evening, Niger Watch. Good evening, everybody. Please, all protocols duly observed, and I welcome every, each and every one of us, including those listening. Actually, I've been been an embarrassment for two, three days. It two, three days now. My network wasn't connecting, but I hope today it. Uh, it no, it's very good. Clear. It's very, very clear. Okay. Oh, good. So actually, why I came in on the this thing was, you know, this uh, this Mary or Delis, uh Poser. Because, you know, they are flying a kite. But the thing about sometimes, you know, these corrupt politicians, which are, which are due respect, which all due respect, we know that all Delis family is a very corrupt family. Where is the evidence? EFCC has been on Peter Odele because of the money he embezzled in rivers. I don't care. He is the only Nigerian I've heard that he has perpetual injunction not to be arrested. Have you ever heard that? Perpetual since 2007 he left office. EFCC can nobody can arrest him because of the world. The wife is a Supreme Court judge. They know the way they do it. If that that is the most corrupt family I've seen. Corrupt, not in the sense that they have houses or estates all over the world. No, I may not be. But in terms of the process, they use the legal system. Mwike was doing all the nonsense he's doing. That's why we can tell PDP, who can, who we do it? Who? Who? I dare them. I dare them to suspend me. I dare them to throw me out of PDP. Because before you know it, they put it in court and who we do it? Somebody who studied in Harvard. PhD law, Harvard, LLB, Unical, MPA, Harvard, LLM, Harvard, three degrees from Harvard, said to my hearing that in Nigeria, the way they do it is when you have a case, they will tell you, can you bring 20 million naira or 30 million just to shop around for a judge that will handle your case? Have you ever had that? Not, not, not the real bribe for the lawyer to shop around for a federal court, because the federal high court, federal court of, let's say, if you have a, let's say, a state like, say, Benue State, Anambra, Edo State, if you have their state high court, all your rotation goes only across the state. You can't leave the state because you're under the state judicial commission. But if you are within the federal, you can move from federal high court in Akure to be transferred to federal high court in Calabar. From federal high court Calabar, you can move to federal high court Benin or anywhere. So far, it's federal. And because of your case, maybe you committed a crime in another state or maybe in a plateau or maybe in Ogun. And they will feel that the judge who will do the bidding 
is coming from Bauchi. They will, because of that, and put your case, say, hey, man, what is it called? They've given you bail. It will be hard in six months' time. Before then, they will go and shop for the judge. Huh? Oh, Nigeria, is, Nigeria is corrupt. The, if not, why well, I have to establish the credentials of the person who said this was for people to know. Somebody who read law to PhD, three degrees in law, bachelor's, master's, PhD, and their master in public administration. So the person is well informed. He was saying, he said, that is the, that's how corrupt Nigeria is. So Peter Odele and Mary Justice, Mary Odele is a product of that system. Her two daughters, Chinelo and Dinjideka, are already high court judges. There is a, a headline I was reading, only because here we don't show it until Niger Watch you goes through it, but I can quote it, you can go and search it and bring it and then paste it for or read the way you normally do. The headline is saying is from People's Digest. He said that in Jideka was 1992-2021. Buhari is one of the 20 that Buhari you know, approved for uh, high court judges. He said previously she was rejected because of petition by so many people that she's not qualified. She was dropped. Later they brought the name back and she's now a high court judge. There's one, there's a chap called Professor Chide Odonkalo. He made a statement somewhere, I think was dressing judicial or something. He said, why is it that this, in the light of this uh, Bukachua, because of the type of something uh, we had about the Bukachua, Chide Odonkalo was addressing, I think it was lawyers, I don't know the group he was addressing. He said, look at Bukachua. The judge, the, the husband is a senator. Can you imagine that? I think one of the daughters of that book actually, is also true to be a judge. The same thing, then, uh, then Kalu was saying, why can't there be something like morals in which uh, Justice, um, 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 Justice Mary Odele, two daughters, are also high court judge at the same era? Are they the most qualified in Nigeria? So, to, so or the, if you go and listen to that tape again, Odinkalu was making a very, very indict, indicting uh, analysis of everything. So I'm not disappointed. Somebody like Mwike you are seeing, Mwike became the chairman of Obia Oloko government because on the grace of um, Justice M Mary Odele, Mwike in one of his uh, drunken uh, spree, you know, he can say anything. He said that when the thing was in court, he said he said he was running to Madame. Who is Madame? He said it. He said the Madame. When he was giving valedictories just to praise them, he said he was running to Madame to say, Madame, help me, help me. That is what they did. And there's a reward. There's a, a judicial institute, River State Own, River State Own, named after Justice Mary Odele. It's in Porter Court. It was commissioned. Then, I say, you know, you do to the woman, you do to the husband. There's what I know, one type of a cancer center in Porter Court, built, named after Peter Odele. That's not it. Then the two Peter and Mary, they have a university of medical sciences called PAMO, P-A-M-O, P for Peter, A for and, the, conjunc the conjunction, M for Mary, O for Odele, PAMO University of Medical Sciences. Mwike committed River State money there, saying that River State Indigenous studying there, they've been paid, their school fees, everything has been paid till they graduate. And medicine is six years old, or maybe five years. Can you ever, can, has it ever been done? That it has been paid. What if they didn't pass? Because well, even if you are given a scholarship, because you are brilliant, that scholarship, if it's to last three years, every year you have to bring performance, because you don't just say, because I've gotten scholarship, you go and relax. Ask anybody, it's done worldwide. You have to be maintaining certain grade. That is the meaning. But if you keep maintaining it every year, then the thing continues. It's not that you are giving scholarship. You want a scholarship to go and study undergraduate in a university for four or five years. In the first year, you made distinction. Second year, you are you started failing. They can continue and they withdraw it. But we can have paid everything. He said it. These are facts in the open. So when you see the paddy paddy going on, and this is because of Wiki that there is no way any court case Wiki cannot win. They know how to go and shop. So when this guy said it, that was when you now know how rotten Nigerian judiciary is. So it's not a case of I have a case in Bauchi. I'm afraid I can't do it. If there's a judge somewhere in all your state or in Imo state, Anna, who they've been able to say, look, oh, this is easy. Say, yes, I can handle it with all the, you know, you know <clears throat> with all the bargain. 
All they need to do is to remove the judge that is in Bauchi, transfer him maybe to Jigawa or bring him to Niger State, then take the one. So far, it's federal. Say you are now going on transfer to start next month. By next two months, you hear the case. So this is the this is the Nigeria we are. So why I have to try as much as I can to come in this night to say this is that to let people know that Nigerian judiciary is more is so in fact he say I don't know whether is it what do they call that? Is it a scrater? I don't know. The 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 what uh, what something that had the the most awful smell. Nigerian judiciary is rotten. In fact, if you see a if you see a judicial officer, if you can spit on his face, you please do. They are rotten from beginning to end. So tell me, how can justice be served in a country like this? Where if you don't write, like, they transfer you, they change you, they do this, they do. A body did it that time. A case in Kaduna, they transferred it to Asaba and then changed the judge. Every case James Ibori had then discharged and acquitted, discharged and acquitted. He ran to Dubai to go and enjoy. Britain applied for extradition because of what he did. And when he came here in the UK here, the judge, the lawyers he hired told him better go to judge and better go to court and plead guilty so that your sentence will be, you know, will be less. But if you there's no way we are going to win. That was what Ibori did. Yet he was not found guilty in Nigeria. So Nigerian judiciary is rotten. My 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 hope is that this election next tomorrow, all, all eyes on the judiciary, none of us will, I mean, it, I, I will be awake that day. In fact, I will listen to everything live. I will tune in. I think Niger Watch, hopefully you will, the way like, just like on 2050, all of us kept veggie here from morning. So we also be the be meat life. I'm only hoping that this will be the time because I know God brought people before a purpose. As rotten as Nigerian judiciary is, maybe this will be their shining moment. They will allow people to be take over by whatever arrangement and disqualify thing. So that when people be comes in, there will be a root and branch examination of Nigerian judiciary. Otherwise, nothing will happen. Remember, Lisa Wakoba said, no wonder he lost three cases or three, two or three cases under Justice Bukachua. No wonder. Because that's all they do is. They do it, but I mean, if you know anybody, that's what they need. What, no matter how the logic of your case, no, do anything. They come there and, and, and they just snag the gavel. The appeal is hereby dismissed. That ends it, though. No matter your argument, you go to Supreme Court. Maybe this Mary Odile will be there. If she's not in her in her court, they will shop around and do it. The appeal hereby dismissed. They will say, hey, I've, I've, I, you lost, so you go. Or whatever nonsense you bring in, the appeal hereby succeeds. They say you won at appeal court. Hey, go to Supreme Court now. Nah. Go to court. You go to Supreme Court. The appeal. They, they will tell you that Supreme Court is a review of what is done in the appeal. After all, if you have uh, won in the... You know, this. when they tell you this, you, you feel ashamed. Why do people even waste their time going to study law in university? Nigeria is a, is, Nigeria is a big joke. In terms of judiciary, it's a big joke. Why should Mary, Mary Odele come and be delivering this type of thing? Whose mind is he trying to poison? And he made, why can't he? Why can't she be in the country? Allegedly, says she has run out. She's now no longer in the country. Why is she not in the country? Where are they all running to? You see, the mistake people tend to make is that they've forgotten what Frank Fanon said. Every generation will confront the challenges of their time. There are rubbish. Our our four, our forefathers or parents put up with. Maybe when they were doing all these things, Naira, people can still finish university, get a job and eat. Now that there is no job, nothing. Nigeria is the poverty capital of the world. Things are so bad. Soludo said it the other time, with a tongue in cheek, Nigeria economy is dead. It's a dead horse. You know that type of thing? An economy saying is dead. He used the word dead. So they know. So they thought that this present youths won't take anything. They, look, they had better, the judiciary had better, or else that that small crude oil they're enjoying, they won't see it again. They had better allow people be who is prepared to take risk, to start to come and clear the nonsense that have piled up since God knows when. They had better allow the man to take in, I mean, to, to take over. If they are still do okay, now since Agbado enter, what is happening? Nothing. This Nigeria is sinking Every day. And all of them will tell you, oh, they, they, they trained all their children in school. But they are now trying to tell me that if you forge a certificate, it should be allowed. 
How can you how can you have a president, the primary school you do not know? Even if you can't know the omet, at least the name. Good primary school did you attend? They said it's a genius. You can write a, it's Albert Einstein. You can write your primary school exam from your bedroom. Secondary school, uncle, nobody knows. Then the university, the one you put in, let us see the details. You are telling the university, don't release anything. You are even blocking it. And yet you want to be president. So that tomorrow they will call you a president is a visitor. Because according to Nigerian law, they say the president of the country is a visitor to every university. So you can go there and take a, and be shaking hand with graduating students. I mean, what, what really are we talking about? Sometimes when I hear this, when I, when I listen to this type of logic, it, it baffles me. Like, let me back, come back to Audley. So what they feel is that Audley will be Supreme Court judge, will go serve Papa, serve, serve, serve Mama, serve Pekin. Is that what they want? Two of your daughters are already judges in the high court. In the next 10 years, this one will be in court of appeal. This one will, then people like Wike will now be bringing governor or commissioner uh, go to court. When you go to court, they will show for a judge, change who they want to change. Before you know, they say, gavel, appeal, so appeal, you lose. We can't continue like this. We cannot. We cannot. But let me say this. P2B and Labour Party, they are listening to all these things. They know exactly where what the rot that is in Nigeria. If somebody like me, that I'm nobody, I can give an account, I can analyze things like this. Imagine the facts available to the likes of P2B and the, the rest of the Labour Party. They know the rot. But I'm only pleading. I don't want Nigerians to lose more red liquid because in the end, it is the poor people that will suffer. In their own interest, let them take their loot and get out of the country such that the youths will now, so they, they place their trust on P2B, we now said, okay, we are starting from ground zero. But let them not use, think that they will continue to loot, to loot, to loot. When you finish, you put your, you put your distance, you put your, your children. Peter Audley has, I mean, Mary Audley has four children. Two are already judges. The one that is a medical doctor, Adese, is the present commissioner for health in River State. Is the present commissioner for health and the, maybe the CMD of one teaching hospital. You know, when they are doing all this rubbish, you now start to wonder, are we building a dynasty? And they feel that people do not know. It can walk somewhere where they have caliphate. It cannot walk in a civil, in an environment that is highly charged like this. Now, Wike is prancing up and down because Wike became a politician, made it to the, less, uh, to the level of uh, uh, governorship on the River State, simply because he's in the paper, all the, all the ladies is in, is in his pay packet, in his, in his pocket. They will look for judge. Any case, we can, we, we, no matter what, he will tell you, I have not lost any case. Let them go to court. He's the person advising Tinubu what to do. That's why he was brazenly rigging an election in River State. Said, uh, we will do it, but for presidency, we, we, for presidency, we believe in the South, Southern presidency. Wike has to deny that he is Igbo simply because he wants to rig election. In fact, this June 6th, I mean September 6th, is pregnant with so many things. Every option is on the table. I'm not, I'm not speaking for anybody, I'm speaking for myself, but I know most people, has, most people are sort of are in sync with what I'm saying. Every option is on the table. This will be like 1st October 1960, the day Nigerians are waiting with eagerness, but in that case, they are happy they want to change their flag. In this case, that sixth, the beginning of the end of the country, we either start today or Nigeria will be, there will be, there will be something like a, a great celebration, like somebody observed earlier, a great celebration that a new dawn has broken, or else that will be the beginning of the end of what is essentially not an African initiative. I don't see why it should be an African and, 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 and I mean, what is not an African initiative can never be an African reality. But September 6th is the day. I rest my case. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Augustine. Thank you very much. To be honest, yes, I agree. You know, September 6th is the day. And uh, we have less than a few hours to go. For me, I will advise everybody to stay more attentive from tomorrow morning, to be honest. From tomorrow morning, we shouldn't wait in, because if you have to wait for the six or the six start from next tomorrow morning, right? 
trust me, maybe they're not going to deliver judgment on your behalf where you sleep. Oh. Uh -huh. Because what happened during the time of ININC issuing our certificate, we don't want that to happen again. So um, we should uh, be very, very observant. Let our concentration start from tomorrow. We shouldn't be distracted at all, please. At all, at all, at all. Let's listen to this uh, two video. Then I'll come back to everybody again. Uh, then we'll take it from there. I would like us to start first with um, Dr. Aruna. Dr. Aruna actually did a video last night, you know, uh, relating to this uh, Odili uh, madam. This is your friend and brother, Dr. Haruna Goro. We're just counting days to the election tribunal case determination, waiting to see what the judgment will be. Nigerians are all having their eyes on the judiciary. This has nothing to do with intimidating them. It is just because of what has happened in recent times, where obviously clear injustice was done by the judiciary. But we are all praying that the judges will do the right thing and ensure they do not judge this case on the basis of technicalities, but follow the truth and the merit of the case. We want to know who was truly the winner of 2023 presidential election. That's why Nigerians are all quiet and just waiting for this judgment. I just recently watched a video from one of the judges and this person was warning and saying that the people that lost the election or the losers must make sure they don't create trouble. So now the question is who is a loser? She's almost like saying those that have lost but then I don't want to judge her. It could be interpreted any way or any side. But she was saying people shouldn't, because they have lost, shouldn't bring the roof down. It is no doubt appropriate that the theme is, quote, the Nigeria of our dreams, a call to the patriots. I say so in the light of the prevailing situation in Nigeria as a result of the 2023 general elections, which has generated a lot of storm necessitating the conversation which we are about to indulge in. Now, Nigerians, I want you to judge for yourself. I don't know whether it's ethically right for Justice Mary Odili to be presenting something in a meeting like this, where the current Attorney General is there, who was the lead counsel in defense of Tinubu's case. As there seems to be moves to draw the nation into chaos or conflagration, these may be brought about by some individuals and groups who, finding the ambers of hatred, bigotry, and tribalism, fail to see the possible outcomes of the utterances without caution that are being thrown around. It is human to feel cheated or having the short end of a stick, but one who is not declared a winner at any of the electoral contests. Such emotions, however grim, does not justify bringing the roof down the roof of our nation. So what is she referring to? In fact, she should not have appeared anywhere to be making such statements. Nigerians are waiting for the outcome of this case and she will come there and be making a presentation talking about aggrieved parties, those that feel cheated. Who are the ones that feel cheated? They are the ones that went to the tribunal asking for justice. But she's here addressing people some of these people are standing on the side of APC. I'm not trying to preempt her, but this is a wrong time for her to come out and be making such a presentation when people are all anxiously waiting for the outcome of the case, what the judgment will be. And she's making this kind of presentation. Maybe I'm the one looking at it this way, but I'm telling you, this was the wrong move. She shouldn't have done this. The reason is simple, that in such an eventuality, that aggrieved person may not be spared as the commotion that would ensue would be like an unguided missile which could land anywhere and upon anyone. Therefore, in ventilating our points of view and facts at the electoral tribunals or other courts, a sense of responsibility from all parties is demanded. The situation does not call for the blackmail of the judges or the posting of speculatory hypothesis given such a life of their given them such a life of their own which run riot 
and accepted by the hapless and innocent in the society as the truth. Knowing the quality of participants at this colloquium, and I'm happy professional, those who are well equipped in litigation matters or electoral disputes. Chief Olone Gweku is a master, and our Attorney General recently sworn in. These are experts. Reckless cases that are justifiable and the ones that are not. Judiciary cannot be a practicing pitch. It is not Old Trafford where you test wrong anything. And I am confident that having such persons here, including our chief host, Chief J.K. Gazama, there is confidence that at the end of the day, a resetting of the mind would be taking place and we would keep things in perspective and the full knowledge that elections are seasonal. Wait, am I hearing correctly? Justice Mary in her presentation is making a reference to one of the people that were in attendance of that meeting, that is Chief Wole Olaone Pekun, who was the lead counsel of Tinubu's case, this current case that is going on. Knowing that this man that she's speaking to is the one that is their boss now, Tinubu strategically made him the Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of Nigeria. Maybe preparing so that he can influence whatever will happen should the case eventually go to the Supreme Court. And so she should not have done this, especially at a crucial time like this, when all eyes are on the judiciary. All we are asking the judges to do, the five of you, the destiny of Nigerians, innocent Nigerians, is in your hand. God is watching you. Please do the right thing. We don't want the roof to come down. We want justice, so let justice prevail. None of you should be bought. I plead with you, let justice prevail. Our eyes are on you, not to intimidate you. Remember, you have a life to live and you have a nation to face. And whatever you do today, your children's children, yet unborn, will reap. And you want to do the right thing. Let it go down in history that the five of you allow justice to prevail. Don't fear any man, fear God Almighty. And we are confident you will do the right thing. When people vote for somebody, let the person that people voted for be allowed. Nobody should use money and bribe people to put him in power and govern this nation. We want justice in Nigeria. Nigerians, it is time to stand and take our nation back. Our eyes are on the judiciary and we trust God. With God, all things are possible. We're going to have justice in Nigeria. Please go ahead and share this broadcast with as many people as you can. As you already know, Judgment Day is here. The appeal court just announced that the presidential election petition judgment will be delivered on Wednesday, 6th September 2023. We will make a recap of the main issues the judges will answer on Wednesday. After that, we will take a look at some conspiracies that have spread since the presiding judge adjourned the court so that they can deliberate and deliver judgment. While we are looking at the main questions and interpretations the judges will do on Judgment Day, if you live in an English-speaking country and you understand written English well enough, please comment your understanding of the following text. This section 134 of Nigeria's constitution explains the conditions that a candidate must fulfill before being declared winner in a presidential election. It says, a candidate for an election to the office of president shall be deemed to have been duly elected where there being more than two candidates for the election. A. He has the highest number of votes cast at the election and B. He has not less than one quarter of the votes cast at the election, each of at least two thirds of all the states in the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Yes, that's what it says. This subsection 2, A and B, the petitioners believe that Tinubu's declaration was in violation of this section. So just to give you a hint before you write your comment, the main bone of contention is this and. They want the court to determine if it is playing a conjugative role or a disjunctive one. Yes, no need going into details because that will introduce bias before you write your comments. This issue has been overflogged in many videos that we made. The next one is the one that deals on disqualifications. 
This section outlines all the grounds that a presidential candidate can be disqualified. Let's just read the one that is in contention. That is subsection 1D. A person shall not be qualified for election to the office of president if A. This A is not our concern. As you can see, all of them are separated by this or. You can see this B is separated by or. So they are categorized differently. The bone of contention is D. It says, he is under a sentence of death imposed by any competent court of law or tribunal in Nigeria or a sentence of imprisonment or fine for any offense involving dishonesty or fraud. Then in bracket, it says by whatever name called or for any other offense imposed on him by any court or tribunal or substituted by a competent authority for any other sentence imposed on him by such a court or tribunal or let's hold it for a moment when you look at this section it seems that the drafters their intention is to categorize all felonies under one section by saying by whatever name called it means they want to capture even future crimes yes that's how they write laws for instance, when this law was written in 1999, there was nothing like cyber crimes. No one knew what it was. By using the word whatever name called, it somehow captures cyber crimes and other crimes not known at the time it was written. When you read subsection E, you will understand that this section deals with misdemeanors. It says, within a period of less than 10 years before the date of the election to the office of president, he has been convicted and sentenced to an offense involving dishonesty or he has been found guilty of the contravention of the code of conduct or this section deals with code of conduct bureau is a special court in nigeria that deals with the conduct of elected persons while they are in office people that are elected to executive offices in nigeria someone like a president a governor a local government chairman they are all required by law to fill out a form declaring their assets before taking up the office. They are also required by law to fill out a second form when they are leaving office declaring their assets. This is to help the Code of Conduct Bureau to make comparisons and conduct investigations to know if they stole in office and trace any corrupt activities. Even Tinubu was brought to this court in 2011 because of his activities while he was in office as governor of Lagos State. They accused him of running foreign accounts, which is against the law in Nigeria. In his defense, he said that the foreign accounts he ran while he was governor was used to pay for the school fees of his kids abroad. At the end of the day, the court didn't even decide the matter based on its merits. It was dismissed based on technicality. Now, back to section 137, the reason the petitioners believe that Tinubu violated this section was because of the forfeiture he made in the United States. Because this section deals with dishonesty and fraud, and by whatever name called, it's a collective name for all felonies. So the fact that Tinubu was involved in narcotics trafficking and money laundering in the United States, he forfeited $460,000 being proceeds of narcotics trafficking to the U.S. government in 1993. So based on this, the petition has asked the court to disqualify him because the U.S. Supreme Court has defined a fine as a punishment for a crime. Yes, it's one of the precedents in the United States they cited during their arguments in court. Even in Nigeria, there's a judicial precedent that supports this claim that a fine is as a result of a crime that was committed that the government cannot wake up one day and just see someone's property without the person committing a crime. In fact, the current Chief Justice of Nigeria was among the panel of justices that delivered that judgment. So these are the two main constitutional breaches the petitioners are hoping that the court will consider and disqualify Tinubu. There's a third one. In this one, he missed a deadline. According to the laws that govern elections in Nigeria, when a vice presidential candidate resigns before the election, the main candidate, that's the presidential candidate, is supposed to replace him within two weeks. And according to the law, failure to replace him within those two weeks, the party will now have to conduct a fresh presidential primary. Yes, that's what the law says. Tinubu failed to nominate a new vice presidential candidate within the time, and having failed the time, his party also failed to hold a fresh presidential primary. 
So based on this breach, one of the petitioners is asking the court to disqualify him that according to the law, his party did not have a candidate in the election. There's a fourth one. It's part of the long list of conditions that a candidate will breach and he will be disqualified automatically. It's about the forgery of his certificate. As we have covered in many videos, the petition has proved that the certificate he submitted is different from the one Chicago State University issued him in 1979. So while the evidence is there in court already and will be part of the judgment that they will deliver on Wednesday, Atiku is still in Chicago. He wants to substantiate the evidence by getting the admission records of the person called Bola Tinubu. He can still submit it at the Supreme Court, that's on appeal. Whether the court disqualifies him or not, he can still file the new evidence on appeal at the Supreme Court. Now, it's not finished. There's a fifth one. This one is still a constitutional matter. Why we are taking it one by one is just to make people understand the gravity and the baggages that will be insurmountable in court. This fifth one deals with dual nationality. It's not as if the Nigerian constitution abhors dual nationality. No, that's not the issue. The issue is that the law is against someone who has sworn an oath of allegiance to another country. Any person who in his own volition takes up a nationality of another country is not qualified to hold executive office in Nigeria. If someone is born in the United States, no one can determine where he is born. You cannot determine your nationality as a newborn. That's by the way. But if you went to United States or any other country as a migrant and you decide to take up their citizenship, that means you must swear an oath of allegiance. A natural born will never need to do that. You don't need to swear an oath of allegiance to your natural born country. So the petition has proved that he acquired another nationality and lied about it while filing his particulars because there's a section where you are asked, do you hold any other nationality apart from Nigeria? You either indicate yes or indicate no. In the case of Tinubu, he said no, that he didn't have any other nationality. But the petition has proved that he lied in court. They tendered his passport that he willfully acquired by himself. Now, let's see the last one. It's not finished. <laughs> this one, his vice presidential candidate violated one of the laws governing elections in Nigeria. That law says that no candidate in an election shall hold two nominations at the same time. His vice presidential candidate initially held a senatorial nomination before he was nominated by Tinubu. So the petition has proved that his vice presidential candidate did not correctly resign from his earlier senatorial nomination before taking up the new vice presidential nomination. Now to the last one, the election proper. He didn't win. Let's just cut it short. The petition has proved that the Electoral Commission wrongly declared Tinubu as winner in two states where they won. The evidence they used to prove this are ballot papers that the Electoral Commission brought to court themselves. When these ballots are counted and collated, it shows that the Labour Party candidate P2B won in those two states. In fact, the evidence is there online on the IREV, the result viewing portal where the Electoral Commission posts results. The Labour Party didn't stop there. They also brought other ballot papers that the Electoral Commission gave to them. Most of them were plain papers. Some of them are blood. You can't see any result on them. In order to prove that their votes were hidden in these blood copies, they tendered their own party agent copies that covers the 18,000 polling units. So the number of votes they are expected to recover when the votes are counted in these hidden units is about 2.5 million votes. These votes alone pushes the third person to the second position. Another thing the petition has showed the court is the fact that the Electoral Commission were supposed to upload the results immediately vote counting finished at the polling unit. They were supposed to snap them with their Beavers machine and upload it to their mm. INEX servers so that anyone can log in anywhere and verify the results because on their way to collation centers, anything can happen to the ballot papers. Even the Electoral Commission did not argue about it. They only said that there was a glitch that prevented them from uploading presidential election results. Meanwhile, two other elections that were held simultaneously, the senatorial elections and the House of Reps elections, they were all uploaded successfully. So the petition has proved to the court that it was an intentional block 
that someone intentionally blocked the upload of presidential election results so as to arrive at a predetermined election result. So the fact that the Electoral Commission did not upload the presidential election results in real time on election day is in violation of the electoral law, which says that it must be uploaded in real time. And according to the electoral law, if the non-compliance is substantial, it will lead to cancellation of the results. So it's left for the judges to determine what substantial means, whether the non-upload affected the outcome of the election in a substantial manner. The petitioners proved that because the results that the Electoral Commission cannot account for affected up to 30 million voters, thus going by the number of PVCs collected. Not that all of them will come out to vote on election day, but you can understand that even if 30% of them comes out to vote, that means we are talking about 10 million votes unaccounted for. Not that one candidate will receive the 10 million votes, but no matter how it is distributed, it will substantially change the outcome and the result of the election. Before we make our prediction, let's address the conspiracies. You won't blame Nigerians for their loss of confidence in the judiciary. A lot has happened in the past few days. Where people who didn't contest a senatorial primary election later became winners of the said elections, which is in violation of the electoral laws in Nigeria. There's no excuse for such judgment coming from Nigerian judiciary. When judges turn the law on its head, people will lose confidence. They can no longer confidently say that black will be black in front of a judge, unlike the golden years of Nigerian judiciary, the years of Honorable Justice Oputa in the Supreme Court, Honorable Justice Kayodesu of the Supreme Court, and many others. Some people claim that the judgment that the judges will deliver on Wednesday was written by some politicians who are lawyers. Is it true or not? There's simply no evidence. There are conspiracies surrounding the date they chose, that's Wednesday, because of the NLC strike that will start tomorrow and continue up to Wednesday. Without prejudice, even if the judicial workers will join NLC in the strike, the people that have a role to play in the judgment and their pay court must be there on judgment day. There are also conspiracies about why the judges chose to cover the judgment day live so that people can watch it at home on television anywhere in the world. Some people are asking why the judges decided to do this one live when they denied Nigerians live broadcast during the hearing. Without prejudice, it means that this judgment will be a landmark. That's why they want it live. Now to our prediction. When you look at all the grounds for the disqualification of Tinubu and the annulment of the election shown in this video, you will understand that it will amount to the rewriting of the constitution for any judge to rule otherwise. Yes, that's what it means. Despite the loss of confidence in the judiciary in recent times, you see this one, it is different. It will amount to colluding with the respondents in order to free them from all the grounds. The worst that can come out of this is an annulment of the election, a fresh election will be held. That's the worst that can come out. If they do their jobs very well, that means the rightful winner will be declared on Wednesday, September 6th. Till then, all eyes, you say the remaining. All eyes on the judiciary. Thank you. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much, my people. These are the wonderful uh, videos I wanted to play for you guys. Press on the like button, my people. So let me come back to everybody on the panel that we still have here. Uh, we are going to have our final submission now. So everybody, I'm still going to give 88 eight minutes round, no problem, so that everybody can have enough time. Let me go to Madam Nena, if she's still with us. Madam Nena, are you still there? Okay, fine. Um, let me go to... Yeah, uh, sorry, it was okay. I was trying to unmute myself. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, please talk to us. You have eight minutes, final submission. Eight minutes, eight minutes. Okay. Like I always say, I don't think I'll use up to eight oh, minutes. Oh, okay. you don't talk to me again. Make a yoko kuma money to you. Hey, yes. Honestly speaking, I enjoy Ned Media's analysis a lot. You know, I just enjoy this his analysis. I'm just listening with rapt interest. And um, it's important for us to be getting to get um, some of these um, views and uh, and the nitty gritties of the whole case. Look, when you listen to this thing and you see the analysis, the in-depth analysis, the not just in-depth analysis, but intelligent in-depth analysis of what Ned Media said, 
I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know how these people will eventually, how possible it is that they will eventually say that, say something contrary to what Nigerians are expecting to hear. Like, I, I don't even, I'm trying to just imagine on what ground that they will stand to say, this is not, this what gives something contrary to the expectations of the generality of Nigerians. I, I don't know, I don't know what ground, because the whole thing is, glaring the whole thing is clear they whichever way they go it that the, the merit of this case is is so is so clear that even a child can judge it like when he was analyzing the whole thing like i asked myself when when we were growing up when we were uh, I don't want, like when we were in even from elementary school and uh, secondary school or whatever they were teaching us parts of speech you know Telling us the ones that are pre, uh, uh, prepositions, the ones that are uh, present participles, the ones that are conjunctive, the ones that are adverb, the ones. I can, there's, if there's one other thing I don't forget, I know that and is a conjunction. I don't know when and become uh, became a, 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 this, a, 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 a word that you can use to separate two things. No, you know I remember they they would tell you oh, okay. I give you what is called a simple, simple um, sentence. Two, sim two simple sentences. When you bring them together, bring it together with an and, it becomes a complex sentence. I don't know when it became so difficult to understand the meaning of and, and this and. Like, okay, when you look at uh, uh, the, the story, the story, uh, the issue of uh, 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 Odele, one can say, okay, uh, Mary Odele was, at a, was an event. Um... Uh, um, was an event, and uh, was, was at the event, and also uh, um, Olanik Beko. I mean, it, it, that, that that tells you that Peter Odele, Fagbemi, uh, sorry, Mary Odele, Fagbemi, and Olanik Beko was also there. So, any person that says anything also no, that and does not really mean that he was there. The and means that he was supposed to be there, but he eventually did not come. It does not make no sense, it does not make no grammatical sense. So I don't know how they are going to. I don't know. Let's. We are saying it. Let's. When is this right about around the corner? Today is Monday. Monday is almost over for some people in the other part or like in Nigeria and other countries. I mean, um, Monday is almost over for us here. It's just it's uh, past five p.m. in the evening. Very a uh, very few hours now. Monday will be over. We'll be counting in many in hours. You know, to wait for Wednesday to see what these people are going to come up with. To see what they're going to add because i don't know how they're going to come up with anything contrary to what is assessed the expectation of nigerians i don't, I don't understand how they're going to do it so let's let's wait and see you know in my little um um, um this thing about coming back to this um, um maybe delay again honestly speaking <laughs> i must say that this period in time Maybe I was, I was, in fact, it's what I call the Obi phenomenon. The kind of revelation, I don't know for other people, though, the kind of revelation that we are beginning to get in this period. Eh? I don't think Nigerians has ever known, so, has ever experienced such a revelation, a revelation in, the, in, the, in the years uh, uh, prior to now. You see, this 2023 election, it has brought up a lot of things in the sense that even it has, it's, it's it's it has really gone to a you know open our eyes to see a lot of things and know a lot of people that we thought were people that we thought before that were sensible and then now we begin to know that they are not sensible and now people we thought before that we're not that we are not intelligent and now we are beginning to know that they are intelligent is it has really revealed a lot of things to us giving us a lot of insight and a lot of education about the happenings in Nigeria. You know, getting Nigeria is better equipped to be able to address issues, understand issues, and flow with issues the way they ought to. And I'm talking about people who are really ready. Because the truth about it is that there are still a couple of people in Nigeria who are still not ready to move on, to learn, to have a better understanding of what is going on. Who could have believed? In fact, who could have believed that Mary Odele, like I said before, this is a woman that I know. I, I have a little, a little bit about, not so I don't really know much about her, 
like I, I know I know a little bit about her when she went when she um when she her husband were the governors and you know a little bit about her background when she was in unipos you know and stuff like that and then I think I remember there was a time one of her daughters well, that was one of the controversies that made me even began to question uh, Peter Odile and his people. I, I don't know of, of us I remember that I think one of the daughters, I don't know which one of them, maybe I think he's a doctor or so, when she wedded, that they gifted, in fact, the souvenir they gave in the wedding was a car. I don't know how many people that remember this. It was a car. A car was part of the souvenir that was given during that girl's wedding, you know, and everybody was, it was, it was the talk of the town. So you see that, and now we are beginning to get to know how this woman was how she 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 made herself a puppet a tool to be used by nissan wiki you know so when when she was saying this and there was just a conversation i was having with my husband my husband was like what do you people expect that the truth about it is that majority of these people are benefiting from this dirty no matter how much you respect them no matter how much you think that they are they, they are who they you think they are most of them are benefiting from the ugliness from the from the criminality that's going on in Nigeria. So the last thing they want to see is a change. So Nigerians, everybody that's listening, now we know that Peter Odili, because I don't want to believe that uh, Mary Odili is doing whatever thing she's doing without the knowledge of her husband. I'm not, I'm not saying without the consent, but I'm saying without the knowledge of her husband. So it has, now we have added your delays as part of the, as part of the satanic wicked people. That does not want Nigeria to move forward. We have added them. I've, I, I, for one, have added them as part of the evil people that does not want things to move on in Nigeria. That are benefiting from the corrupt corruption that is going on in Nigeria. You see that it's like every facet of the country that is called Nigeria is messed up. It's messed up that people you think that have brain, people you think that will have a little bit of conscience. Unfortunately, they don't. But let's figure out. Right. Let's, let's wait for. Let's wait for Wednesday. See, sixth of when? September is already here by the corner. Let's wait and see. Did, Thank I, you, did, did I finish eight minutes? Uh, you are almost nine minutes, and you say you're not going to use <laughs> up to it just now. You see, I know. Uh, Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. <laughs> God bless you for your submission. I'm happy that you guys joined me today. Okay, let me call on the next person so we can quickly move on. Give us a mandate. Are you available? Okay, that's fine. I'll just move on. Mr. Edwin, are you there, sir? Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. Okay, thank you. Yes. Please talk to us. Yes. Your eight ministers now, sir. Final submission. Well, uh, thank you very much um, for the time again. Um, so interesting that the final... Uh, judgment is landing and um, what we've much anticipated for is here. I know before now, most of us, if not all of us said, we're going to get our popcorn, we're going to get our wine, get whatever you want to celebrate with and just sit down and start popping your champagne and then start drinking your wine non-alcoholic for those that doesn't drink and then uh, eating your popcorn and then drinking your pepper soup with ECU and all of those. That time has come. So if you've not gone to get your popcorn, please go get your popcorn. Get your ECU. Get your unquobi if possible. And if possible, get your um, stash and black soup. Get your two masara and then mia kuka. Get your Amala and then with good abula and pomo because something is about to happen. Nigeria is about to be reset. I don't know what they have in their judgment. Like I said earlier, I didn't write the judgment for them. I can never write it for them. They went to school to go learn the lore. They went to school. They studied law. They learned the core of the law. They learned about justice and justice have to be delivered. So people, I know tensions are high, anxiety, and um, 
maybe PTSD, I mean, whatever you can call it, it is normal. But regardless, get your wine, get your popcorn, get your, even if it's suya, get whatever you have to celebrate with. And it is time for us to celebrate. It is time for us to celebrate. We know what we want. And we know that what we want is the way that the, ju the, just, the, the, the justice should be served. Because our president, His Excellency Peter Gregory, will be won this election without any iota of doubt. Evidences are everywhere. If you bring Peter Obi, bring Chunumbu, bring Atiku, and other candidates, this is the only man that have everything verifiable. Everything is verifiable. We didn't give Shishi, he was confirmed. I didn't send anybody to go and steal ballot buses for me, it was confirmed. I did not bribe judges or justices, it was confirmed. All he said is, let's go to court. So the day is here when judgment will be served. And so let's get together. Let's begin to get our things together because we are going to celebrate. I just have that feeling that we're going to celebrate. You don't have to trust the judges for them to do the right thing. And whatever Mary Odile is playing, maybe she's plating. And what do you expect from someone that, you know, there are people that you cannot work for and not be evil. You cannot work for Wirewiki and not be an evil person. Allegedly, Ray Power and AIT in River State demolished. Allegedly. So you cannot work for such people and not be demonic or satanic. So, oddly, like I said earlier, you can only run from this country. You cannot run forever. You cannot run forever. You can never run forever. One day, you'll be brought down. The only concern that I have for this woman is if you all, I don't know if you guys pay attention to her face, the way she looks. This woman's face looks like someone that lacks empathy. She lacks empathy. She lacks motherhood. She speaks with like, hey, nothing would happen. But I bet you something's going to touch you and your family very, very soon. This woman lacks the, the vein of human of womanhood, the vein of a mother, because she has done so many evil. She speaks like, oh, we own the country. She speaks like, oh, nobody can question us. Hey, Nigerians are about to question you. You can run from Nigeria today. You cannot run forever. Your days are numbered. Your days are numbered, I bet you. You guys can do all of the evil you want to do, but your days are numbered. Nigerians, obedience. Let's get together. If you can go to the court, please show up at the court. If you can show up at the court, please show up at the court. We will not allow them any breathing space. They just have to do the right thing. They just have to do the right thing. So me, I'm here. We'll continue to follow and then monitor this whole scene as it continues. But destiny is about to be made. It's the nine month. Nigeria is pregnant of a new child. Nigeria is pregnant with a new president. No other person than His Excellency Peter Gregory will be the Okuti of Nigeria. He won the election. Even the justices, the judges, they know that Peter will be won the election. 
they know that Peter will be won the election. They know. So all of this that they are doing is just medicine after death. They know that Peter will be won the election. Why are they all jetting out of the country? Why are they running away? Two things involved. Either they are running for their lives because they know that once Peter Obi is declared, then that black Maria where they don't want to enter, then go enter the black Maria. They must all enter the black Maria. So all right, people, thank you. Let's get ready to celebrate. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll continue to be here. Now here we day, now here we go to hear the news, now here we go to celebrate. Thank you very much. By God's grace, my brother. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. All right, F. Emmanuel, thank you very much, sir. Uh, for your patience, if you're there, please talk to us. Eight minutes, final submission. Hey, Mr. Evans, good evening once again. Thank you so much. Give us our mandate. You've spoken well. In fact, all these things I wanted to submit, lastly, you've already taken it from my mouth. The only thing I will add to 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 what you said earlier is um let's just get our dry shoes ready. We are gonna celebrate we are going to be celebrating in less than 48 hours. For those of you that like a pan wine, please get a jar of your pan wine close by. For those of you that won't like eating a giddy and pepper soup like uh, Mr. Evix, please get your pepper soup. And I get it ready. For those who like coffee, get your coffee ready. Whatever that will make you happy, just get it ready by your side. Celebration is coming. There's no going back. It's clear. The assurance is so clear that the justice will do the right thing. I'm not pessimistic i'm 100 percent optimistic i know if you want to listen to what people say or what they are, they are saying or what they are not saying you know we are in the verge of our victory you know so we shouldn't be we shouldn't worry we shouldn't get overworked the time is now. What we'll be waiting for. The long awaited victory and jollification is already at hand. So let's not worry ourselves this time around. What I like in this judgment to be is like uh, Atlanta 96 when Nigeria played a uh, World Cup that the whole Nigeria was awake to see how Nigeria, the super egos had defeated the Brazil, the Argentines. So that's how I like in this <clears throat> tribunal. You know, so I don't wanna, I'm not going to say much. Of course, my brother, give us a mandate, has already seen also let me know of a flog issue. You know, let's just keep all fingers crossed and uh, see what will be in less than 48 hours. Thank you for your time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the wonderful contribution and the time to speak again. Mr. Evix, thank you for your doggedness. You know, for not giving up. If Mr. Peter B cannot give up, I wonder why I should give up. You know, so PO is not giving up. Aisha is not giving up. That is not giving up. Is it me that will not give up? Peter Peter B say, I have confidence in the, in the, in the judiciary. So you keep wondering if the owner of the certificate, who is who, 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 who won the election, say he has confidence in the judiciary. So why will I begin to shake and worry myself on you know so let's just keep all hope alive remember peter is a solid lock rock and on him nigeria will be built back 
Thank you so much. I raised my case. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Oga F. Emmanuel. Thank you very much for your submission. Thanks for your time with us today. I'd like to quickly appreciate um, Amaka Fojabi. Thank you very much, madam, for doing it again. God bless you. Say, Mr. Elvis, thanks a lot for the journey so far. It wasn't an easy task. God bless you. Amen. God bless you too. Yes, that's why I'm saying that we shouldn't be distracted right now. We all are close. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for your kind words and your support. Okay, let me go to before I come to uh okay, Augustian. Sure. Yes, could, no, it's not your turn yet, Augustian. You're gonna be the last. Let me call on Mr. Ike. Mr. Ike, it's good to have you on the show. Uh good evening to you once again. Sir. Please talk to us. Uh, I give you eight minutes as well. Thank you, Mr. Elvis. Thank you, all other panelists. Thank you for those in the comment section. Um, we are close to destination. You know what it is when you go into a boxing match and this is not like the referee is undecided on who won. This one is a technical knockout. You hit somebody, the person falls, and they count 10. The person did not stand up. So you already, you already have an idea of what the result is going to be like. Now, what are the points? We're saying that the Constitution was so clear when it says for you to be a president, you must have 25% of all the votes in the federal capital, you don't have it. The constitution says that you must not have double citizenship. You have it. It's like black and white. It's so clear. The constitution says that for you to contest for presidency, you must have a minimum of pass in primary school. You don't have it because we've not seen anyone so it's not enough to say i went to this school i went to the other school we don't have anything the constitution says that for you to run and become a president you is a joint ticket your vice must also be clean this time the vice had double nomination as at the time tinubu came to tell us when he went to visit buhari and he said he went to discuss with him about the running mate. And the journalist asked him, then who is the running mate? He says Shetima. That Shetima doesn't even know. After that time, he said that he Shetima doesn't even know that he is going to be the running mate. So it is not possible that Shetima that does not know would have dropped his senatorial candidacy. It's not possible. You cannot drop your senatorial candidacy if you don't know that you're going to be the vice president. So, as at the time Tinubu told the world that Shetima is going to be his running mate, Shetima was still the senatorial candidate in his, in, in his senatorial district. So, it is so clear. The same chief justice that we have now has said in the past, in the case of uh, 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 Abacha, the case against Nigeria and Abacha, that when you forfeit anything, it is criminal. It's a punishment. Now, there is a criminal forfeiture of $460,000. So it is so clear. So this kind of, we are not supposed to be tensed if not that Nigeria is corrupt. We're not supposed to be tensed. We're supposed to be relaxing like every other person has said, bring whatever you like, and, and wait for the judgment. We're not even talking about the election itself. You, it, it, um, the INEC chairman went around the world, told everybody the innovations, how they're going to do, uh, conduct this election. So if two different elections that were conducted on the same day with presidency could be transmitted, why not transmit the presidential to you if you are very confident? Amazon, Amazon is one of the most respected hosts 
of online activities. They have come to say there was no glitch. So I don't even know where they are coming, where they are going to come from. How this whole thing will go and they say there are no evidence. We're supposed to be waiting for to, to go into the street to go and celebrate. But because our country is corrupt, they have used so many people, people that are so respected, to try to distract us. But thank God we are focused. This is more than one year that this Niger Watch Elvis, you've been here singing the same song. We will never be put to shame. We will never be put to shame. I, it's unfortunate that all of us will not be physically there, but they know we are with them in spirit. We have so many reasons to celebrate because all of these things comes, they come, in fact, they were interpreted in the, in, in the constitution. It, it is not ambiguous. The English they use when they say and, it's like somebody that they said, for you to go into the university, you must have five credits, including English and math. So even if you have seven credits out of the nine and English and math are not there, you can still go into the university. So it is so clear. So we pray that God keeps us alive. We pray that we we'll have we we'll win back our country and start building it. If you have a country as bad as it is now, the best thing that can be done is for you to give the steering to somebody that knows the way. Even if we don't get to our destination in eight years or in four years or in eight years, at least we are driving on the right road. Let us see somebody that is ready to make 100% efforts. Even if there is no 100% result, but you will know that there is hundred percent effort. The only reason it, nothing is going going well is legitimacy. Like he said, you can't come into the house from the window and you want to clean it. That's exactly what is happening. Even when you think you bring all the technocrats, you will find technocrats making mistakes because there is no grace. The grace of God is not with them. So you can't steal something and expect that you will not start doing good with it. It won't work. It won't work. So we are ready mentally, physically to celebrate with our brothers and sisters that are back home. And I tell you, we will celebrate. Thank you, Mr. Elvis. The God, will keep, the God that we serve will keep you. That the way he has kept you till now, he's going to keep you even after that. Like you said, the moment this whole thing goes well, we will still be here to be a check and balance to the new government we are all praying for. God bless everybody. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ike, for your... A wonderful submission. God bless you. So the last person to go right now on the panel is Augustine. But before that, I'd like to quickly acknowledge one acknowledge one or two persons right there on the comment section. Before that, love God is my strength. Thank you very much for your super chat, Dr. Alessandra Gomez. Thank you very much for your super chat. God bless you, all my people. Mother Rita, I can see right there on the comment section. God bless you. Thanks for joining us. BTV Nigeria, I can see you. Madam Amen Bright, thank you. Thank you, DJ uh do do ye thank you i can see you as well thank you destiny of variable i can see you peggy Modi. god bless every one of you pious moye and mr joseph oji thank you thank you my people press on the like button help us to share august cm you have the floor sir okay yeah um thank you niger watch so to bring uh what we've said into a close well um, I joined the rest of the people. I wouldn't lose hope, so to speak. I wouldn't lose hope. We have a good case, and the case has been well made. However, we are still talking about Nigerian judiciary that is corrupt, that has no shame. But the bigger picture is that on the 6th, we either be 
the beginning of the end of Nigeria. After all, Nigeria is already a dead horse with dead economy. Or the day that the transformation will start. In other words, the hope for future generations will start. I have always argued that because God in his infinite mercy, God knows all we don't know. God puts a way where there is no way. There is nothing impossible that God cannot do. Nothing. Those that are uh, religious fanatics, they say the wisdom of man is the foolishness of God. Yes, we have to think like mortals that we are, giving the evidence before us. Our judiciary is corrupt, we know. So if you judge goes by that evidence, nothing good will ever come out of it. But I always remember what the Yoruba proverb says. I don't know why I'm particular about it. That out of a black pot, black, then you see an immaculate white pap ogi. So how can it be possible? But it is. So in this case, I don't want to leave people despondent. Not that I am try, I will change those that are already despondent. I mean, there are reasons to be, but let us remember that there is nothing God cannot do. The wish of most Nigerians is for something good to happen. There is no doubt about that. That is the wish. If you interview 100 people, 99 will tell you that they want the situation, if not 100, to turn around. So, God, you grant people what they ask in prayer. That is the will of the God, the will of our Heavenly Father. And even the Lord, they say in law, the court will give you what you only ask for, not what you didn't ask for. What the representative of the people through Peter B is asking for is for him to be made president. So we are in the majority. So God, give us what we want. Give us this day the, our daily bread. You say we ask, we will be we will we will be given. If you knock, you will open for us. We've been knocking. Now we are asking. We are, not de- we, are not, we are not demanding, but we are asking you, Lord. Late September 6th be, is it the, eight, the seventh or the, or the eighth or the ninth wonder of the world that the people will say, eh, so it can happen. Because on this judgment, ECOWAS is interested. Those Burkina Faso leaders and the Niger that are saying that Nigerian president is illegitimate, which is rightly so, Everybody, the whole world is waiting for the judgment. So in this case, God, come and take control. Do not let us lose hope in you, the Lord Almighty, which we know we won't, you won't let us lose hope. If Sarah, the wife of Abraham, gave birth to Isaac at a very advanced age, I don't know whether they are talking of, uh, what is it called, uh, fertility then, or no, I don't know, but if it's possible, I mean, this is a small, this is a small thing. After all, those judges, they have, they also breathe Nigerian air. So why? And now they are going to televise it. Probably they want to follow the way of the Kenyan Supreme Court judge. Because at the time, the people of uh, the whole world were telling Kenyans that their judiciary is corrupt. So to prove it, they televised everything. And then since then, now they've gotten a president that is now talking, sitting on the same table with Russia. In fact, Russia is even listening to Kenya and African leaders. So that is what transparency gives. In our own case, on their own, by their own volition, they've said they're going to transmit it live. So the whole world will be watching with them. Although when we didn't follow it live in terms of uh, what the deliberation are, we didn't follow the procedure live, now want to see the outcome live. All be, all be it that they agreed. So in this case, Whatever it is, God come and take control. 200 million people with about, according to their figure, one three three in abject poverty. No, God, you cannot. Those one three three people, at least because of, even if it's 3 million or 10 million, because of them, you can save the rest. So in this case, we ask. We are not forcing, we are asking. 
like Ozeko, my professor Zekome will say, on our bended knees. Come and take control. Come and end all these shenanigans. Nigeria is too big. Nigeria is too hard. It's too, I mean, we are too hard working to be lazy, not to, not to fend for ourselves. For a long time, illiterates, thieves, have been holding us hostage. This is the hour you want to tell them that, look, get out. Now let me take control. In the temple, people were exchanging money, trading in the temple, in the synagogue. When Christ came in, he said, look, this is my father's holy place. You can't do this. You sack them and then take control. So now that is where Nigeria is. People are battering justice for money in Nigeria. Come and tell them that, look, enough is enough. You've given them. In fact, even the evil prevail because God, you allow it. It's as simple as that. Even Satan operates because you allow Satan. So we know what it means. So in this case, nobody is above you. Nigerians must breathe an air of freedom. Come at the hour, come at the man. People will be all eyes on you. Be prepared to take over government. There is nothing the other delays. No matter the kite, they fly. They are wasting their time. Their time is gone. When somebody is so corrupt as to play God, and I feel that only you, morally, I believe what Professor Chido Kalu said, he's a professor of law. He said there are morals in law, even when the constitution may not write moral. You can't be a judge to the Supreme Court and you are bringing your two daughters, which is based on appointment. Do they do public exam? Not only that, the one called in Jideka was brought before, they, it was, he failed because he wasn't qualified. Later they, bring, they brought her again and she's now a judge. So what are they telling us? I mean, at this point, Nigeria does not belong to us. a single corrupt family, not to talk of uh, them. It cannot be. It cannot be. If there must be democracy, it must be democracy of equals. Nobody should be a sub. A, nobody should be beneath the other. Not to talk of when people are corrupt. So enough Nigerians have bled enough. For the first time, election was conducted in Nigeria campaign. P2B wasn't sharing money. Nobody was looking forward to money. Even when the situation demanded it because of the poverty level, yet people shunned money, said, look, we're not interested. All we want is P2B because the man is speaking the language of the street. He's speaking the language of the, 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 the big, the small, and even those that are yet unborn. So why wouldn't he take over? God, everything is in your hand. There's nothing you cannot do. All, the, all these shenanigans, they are Pasma guy, you know what they do. Try this, try that. It will come to who is Tinubu? Can Tinubu can Tinubu hold Nigerians to a whole stage? Who is he? Who is he? Nobody. All these things are happening because you allowed it. I think we've learned our lesson. That's why we call on you on our bended knees, Lord. We've had we've learned our lessons. That's why you left Peter to be alive till this moment. You brought Peter to be for a purpose, like Abraham Lincoln said. On 20th January 1865, when he became the president of the United States at the age of 60, he said God brought him into this world for a purpose. So God brought, I mean, 18, 1861, sorry, not 1865. God brought Peter into this world for a purpose. You know why. And that is the, the last mission I believe he will do to rescue Nigeria and then set Nigeria on the path to greatness. Every other thing. You just bunk on. But having said that, because I know the dictates of man, every option is on the table. We can't, we, we can't, Nigeria cannot be taken for granted anymore. We've suffered enough everywhere with all the things, even the countries that we taught how to fish, they are now exporting fish to us. For what? Why? Just because of some clique want to be running Nigeria as if it's a, they're handing over a piece of a family furniture from one person to the other. It came one stop. September 6th is the date. I thank you all. Good night, Niger Watch. And thank you. Final watch. To, fine, let me now end. Niger Watch, please, whatever it is, of course, you know where you know where I stand. You can't lose hope now. You can't. You cannot be running a 100-meter race only because it's left for two inches and you are trying to forget. When you when you shake, it means the, the devil is winning. They can't win. They know it. September 6th is the day. Tinubu must vacate that office. Eligibility is not eligible to be on the ballot in the first place. 
That is the issue. He's not eligible at all. It has been proven. Forged certificate, NYC, discharge and exempt. Both of them forged. No, it cannot be now. Nah. You can't just play. You can't play. Who, I mean, we can't be following you like Mumuna. It's not possible. It is either that Nigeria, which originally is not an African initiative, we now tell the world that yes, it cannot be an African reality. So let it let it to your tent to Israel. But Lord, we still hope on P2B. Giving two options, let us say we want P2B. That is the option of the majority. I don't want to be selfish. So the more they do it, the more they do de- anyway, it's not no more delay, just to the de- in 48 hours more. So the there are options on the table, but the best option for the me- for the many, not the few. There are options on the table, but for the many, it's P2B, so that we will breathe an air of freedom and then see, test a little bit of what good government is before we return back to you, our Mecca. But other options are still very available, but we felt that those ones can wait. Let us, because P2B is still with us, let us go to P2, go for P2B's option in which he becomes president and sets Nigeria on the path to greatness. But if the forces of darkness, I hope you won't permit them, this time, their time has passed. So they can't rear their ugly heads again. They've run their full circle. We serve the class of 66. We can't serve the class of 99 twice. Enough said. Good night, Niger Watch. Thank you. All right. Um... Thank you very much, uh, Augustine, and God bless you, sir. Thank you for your wonderful um, submission. I would like to add to what you just said. For me, I'm not down. Down for who? I'm not down, but I'm affected because I'm expecting a result. It's a normal thing. I, I'm not sure, you know, um, it's something that I think everybody is different. For me, this affect me. I remember when I was in school, whenever I'm expecting my result, I feel like this. So the date, of, am I not the one clamoring, crying, asking the judiciary to give us date, all this why? But the date is here now. To be honest, for me, it's just like, it's just like, you get some letters where you will receive. You day UK now, maybe you understand what I want to talk. So, because for me, I don't know as I want to explain now. That's on letters we go receive on Friday for UK. And you needed to quickly call and sort it out, but you don't have any option that to wait on Monday. It don't happen to you before. It did. Uh, where, where, <laughs> okay. Where, 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 you go just hold and say why this letter arrived this time. Now, info, info exactly. arrived during the week. Exactly. If they pay me, eh, I'll say, Kai. How come they look time? They look time. They look time. So I think that is my situation right now. And and, and uh, the other thing is that maybe this is the time. This is the first time since I was born. I'm experiencing this kind of thing. Some people might not understand. This is the first time since I was born. I'm following up with judiciary case. Bomba to bomba. This is the first time since I was born. I'm following on with uh, election case like this or anything like this. Any the situation, the current situation we find ourselves. This is the first time I'm experiencing it in my life. Before I normally see say people they go court, people they talk say this one ring arm, the other one not win, and this one win. We just say eh, Kai, those guys they tough. Oh, everybody will just move on. But this is the first time, and. The funny part is that I have never trusted. To be honest, you know, it might sound funny. I don't know. I have no, trusted anything in Nigeria. No, it's true. No, there are evidence. Nobody can doubt you. Nobody can. I mean, exactly. there are evidence. There are evidence. But we all know. But we felt that a time we come, there's a turning point in any country. If a country like Colombia, you know Colombia, you heard of Colombia now, where Escobar come yeah. from. Colombia was like Somalia was even better in the 80s and 90s. Today, the Spanish Spain that colonized them, they will graduate in Spain, going to Colombia to look for jobs. What does that tell you? Tanzania, Nyerere comes to Nigeria for advice. We sent Chief Justice of uh, Uganda, 
used to be Udu Doma, Chief Justice of Botswana, Akiola Agoda. Tanzania, they come to us to come and take a high court judge to come and be their chief justice. Go and check history. Where are they today? Look at where Tanzania is. Because of Magafuli, the man that came and told the British, this good. No, no, no. We are not getting a good deal. Either you take it or you do it this way. Britain agreed. Then they are now putting cable on the road where you can charge electric car. Do you know what it means? 25 well electricity is guaranteed. That is the meaning. Some people may say, eh, what? When you start putting cable along the streets in Bini or Enugu or this thing, say you can charge car, it means it's a 24 hour electricity. That's what it means. So look at where Tanzania is. Tanzania, the governors the other day went to Rwanda a retreat. It's not because of, they say, so what's the people capitalize on what Soludo said about Enugu? What I want to say is that for that is, Soludo was saying the street they were passing. The street, look at Rwanda, very clean. They say in Rwanda, somebody can correct me, that you don't check a car particular, that you wake up as a taxi driver, you know when your particular expires, you go and renew it. Everything is, autom is automated. Rwanda. And then Nigerians are still living in stone age. When you live in two-story building in Onesha, you are talking of how to use, use a candle or you bring firewood to come and cook at the ground floor, firewood, when you are living in two-story building, because you can't afford gas, um, what is it called, kerosene, you cannot afford, you now buy firewood and be cooking in a township. Oh boy, look, Nigeria cannot go below nice. where, it is, where it is now. It is either we get up from here because you've gotten to the low zero, so you now start climbing again, or the ground we open and swallow Nigeria. That is what that is the option. We can't fall below where I we are. I saw a president, I don't know which country in Africa, I saw it on our platform uh, this yesterday or so. A president that was walking uh on the street greeting all everybody. Namibia. It's Namibia. It's Namibia. It's Namibia. He was going in the on the on he was on the beach fronts and <laughs> citizens yeah, were right. coming. But those are the people that you know when you are elected, you would not be scared. Peter B said it that he can walk in on nature without yeah, any security. It's true. He can walk in on nature without any security because he knows he did not steal anything. He did not. Peter B did not use a bulletproof car. He said it now. He said uh, he said I didn't use bulletproof car. He said nobody killed me. Nothing. Look, let me say this. I have flown with him. I have flown with Peter B. If all the flights, he he had no. He hadn't more than two vehicles. Just one that he was in, and another one. We you know, all you know, came out from uh, uh, the all other passengers. It's not like going through presidential presidential wing and so on. So, I mean, what else are we looking for? Look at him at the burial of Annie Okonko la la last Friday. You saw how simple he was. He was wearing the ashwabi of the funeral. Look, look, Peter B, other politicians, <laughs> all these Chimaru, Kenamwan, you people, Rivi, Oji, Kalo, they go on bulletproof car to pass. If it's possible to walk from Onesha to Aba to Potako to Enugu on foot, look, what people will do is that they will close their shop Come and be clapping hand. Ah, people. Everybody, just like holiday, they will close down just to follow this man. Why? Because they've seen that he's not interested in taking change. All this uh, pure water here, this I, he doesn't want it. He lived his, his his life is an open book. Okay, who is killing him? Who? Who is killing? People know he will tell you this is my house, number one Niger Street, uh, Niger Road, GRA Onesha. He said that is where I live. How why can't I'm Robert go there and kidnap him? Because when when you, you see when you are good, even a, a lion, a Daniel was thrown into lions den. The lion pack will begin looking, saying that they are friend. Because no need. You don't you no need. It's only when you steal money you start to hide in bulletproof car. Namibia, their president going to greet people. It didn't say they know they, what is what is the point? The man who made you have electricity, give you life, do everything. What are you touching him for? It will be finished from Anambra, empty-handed. So he just wash and say, go. He say it's public money. I don't need it. Everything. Even the one due to him, he give. Land, he say, till today, can all those people where they rule from Abia to Enugu to uh, Imu, Korocha, then these are criminals now. And when people will look at them, but they can't. I got, um, 
I got the video. Let me quickly play it for the people here uh, so that we can see what we're trying to talk about. You know, a whole president walking on the street uh, uh, around the big dish. Let's watch this together. Yeah, we're going to knock it down. Yeah, it's true. This is my thing. There was a nasty looking government out here. The restaurant here. The lighthouse restaurant. Play area. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Twenty. Twenty. Oh, we are all from there. I think I'm meeting new people. Okay, enjoy it. Who is this? This Why do you come? Why do you come? Why do you come? You are here. Look at that. Are you French? Yes, I'm French. Yeah. You are going back? Yeah, I'm going back. What do you say here? Okay. After the mission. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Where's your camera? You're new here. Then you are new. Then you're new here. Then you don't. <laughs> Where are you from? How are you? I'm from here. You know how come? You... I just seen the newspaper on the television. Because we are here only now. <laughs> if you were always here, you'd see me walking. Only yeah. you I see walking here, but not the first Don't tell yeah. my friend. <laughs> <laughs> the first place. I see the first place. You see the first lady as well. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, not her. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Because Very he works late. So do cap. <laughs> Ah, now so we're supposed to they leave for Nigeria, sir. If, if it's in Nigeria, oh. two days two days before the president will come there, all the tomato sellers, everybody bundled away, cleared jeep everywhere, siren, horse, horse, men on horse, or they horse behave back. like agbirus, eh? I don't know, like because, animals. Of, because of a human being. This is you, you, you remember the picture of uh, uh, Sayi when she, he was doing scooter, scooter uh, he was doing scooter on the street. You will see the number of people that were following Sheyi, 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 the, uh, the son of this criminal. Just I don't know if you last saw that video. Look at what it. On, just on, in the morning that he was he was riding scooter on the road. Or, or, or yeah. sorry, like skating on the road. See, see, it, it, uh, it, 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 didn't you see our military? Didn't you see our military running around him? That's what I'm our saying. Military that we are around him with gun. I like. I say, what eh? is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? He was on 2023 Range Rover Sports. 2023. Abuse. Abuse. 2023. That car. That car is hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. So just to buy it from here, no, sh no, no shipping, not clearing. Just to buy it here is hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. Oh. Uh, what are we talking about? And tomorrow they say he'll be minister. For, they want to make him minister for you. No, the thing is that, eh? The thing is this. P2B has proven to people that, look, there's nothing in this life. It's a billionaire. Forget you. It's a billionaire. But the, even because people feel that Nigerians are prone to violence, all these things. When you have a leader like this, even to police go refuse bribe. I'm telling you, it will so happen. Police go say, no, 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 I don't need this. Okay, see the closed door meeting it. with Tinubu. The closed door meeting that Tinubu had with people in Anso Rock. I don't know what the meeting was all about, you know. But I would like, to, let me quickly put this one here, uh, if I can get it, because I know this I posted it just now. I just hope I find it, you know. A closed door meeting. If you see the cars where those guys stay coming, I don't know the bill, uh, but nevertheless, <laughs> voila. I don't know who they are. Oh, unfortunately, I don't know. Is this the video? Okay, I think this is the video. Let's see if it's this if this is the video. Okay, it's not gonna show properly, but anyway, I, you guys can see it, right? Yes. Okay. 
watch those machines look at them who are these people close yeah but these are defense minister now uh, these are these are the chief of um staffs now for naval army and all of them okay yeah it was there today i think it's in preparation for wednesday but this one cannot cannot deter nigerians see but see but do you know do you know what surprised me about nigeria that's why sometimes when certain things happen you you now know that the civilization is not really electricity or good road it's from the mind why must he be afraid in nigeria we just everything is eh, tight tight he want to do election I army mean, we just fool everywhere police everywhere different types of uniform they threatening people okay they are going to do presidential broadcast on wednesday is that why they are tight for what because you feel that you are a crook do it simple tell tinubu to get out you are even talking about you. tinubu you are talking about tinubu a common a common uh, local local government chairman if they come now clear road you talk about tinubu a whole president no the wall i will do for nigeria <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have been stopped one day. I was I was driving in Lagos, and they stopped us at the airport road, airport link road, that the wife of the president was coming. I tell you, we stayed there for more than one hour thirty minutes. Maybe he has not even left us rock as at the time they stopped us in Lagos. They okay. cordon off everywhere. They cordon everywhere. That there is that there is VIP movement, and we stay there. It's forty-five minutes flight from Abuja to Lagos. If we had to stay one hour thirty minutes, maybe the time they stopped us, she has not left us rock. Is that is is that a country? Everything. I mean, you just look. You know, they, when when I you see what annoys me is that that they don't even understand that power is transient. You know, they you know to them they will feel that it will be a mental case. That this man look at the way you don't need all this, all this giddy giddy. You carry this, carry you don't need it. The man has shown it, finished and was moving freely everywhere. Freely, Peter B goes, goes there, doesn't have any, it doesn't go about with security at your nature. Just let people hear that Peter B is on the other street. Everybody here will close, they are going there to go and shake him, selfie everywhere, and Peter B, no security. Nothing like gun welding people that we say don't come close. They yet no the car he uses is simple, not bulletproof. When I look at all these things, I say, Thank look, you. why is it why 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 is Nigeria like this? And all this uh, Namibia president will be going to AU meeting with Nigerian thieves. When you sat there, you say you're a president. You can't even your people cannot come close to you. Everything is you cordon off somewhere. Hey, security, who are you? Everywhere it's gone. Nigeria is just like a military state. Everywhere you see army, army is supposed to be in the barracks. There you see them in the street checking a particulars. Eh? In a crowded place, you see military caught with gun. That's an abomination. You don't see military in any democracy. You don't see them visibly. You only feel their action when there is need. You know intelligence. Anyway, See, what did AIT do? I I heard that the River State government stopped their operation. Uh, you know, you know, we yeah, they said for misrepresentation, but that we, that, that's we case having we case having thought time. You know, all this <laughs> when I look at all these things, I said, you know, do you know one? You know I, what what he's doing is, is what there, what what Unubu did in Lagos. Now he was one about doing Fabra now. Do you know? Do you know? Uh, sometimes. When I look at people, you know, a Nigerian will tell you, oh, I read law. I went to Harvard, Cambridge, they, you, read, you read the law. Why is it that in Nigeria, we even we want to, even, at every slightest opportunity, we want to show, ah, I don't know me. Do you know who? You know, in those days in Nigeria, there used to be a, a phrase, do you know who you are talking to? You know, I don't know whether they say it, whether it's still in vogue now. Every small, for bus stop, you people are waiting for one rickety bus to enter, and the other one will tell you, do you know who you are talking to at a bus stop? Who are you at a club? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Ah, in those days in Lagos, to rush a bus, rickety bus, molu everywhere, and somebody will be telling you, the dog, you people are trying to struggle, say, please, do you, do you know who you are talking to? <laughs> you shake it. You say, you see, this, this corruption and impunity May God have Nigeria, man. 
Anyways, I just um, play anyway. I, I think you 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 will be in the you will be alive. I mean, you will be uh, you come out in the morning on sixth, isn't it? Like the day of. Uh, I don't know of when course. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Not, no, I, I mean, not you should, okay. Mm. Yeah, in the morning time. So we there yeah, the, the no the sleep. Oh. Now twelve a.m. tomorrow evening, I'll take enter life. Go reach the next four days. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, anyway, yeah, we we have to keep vigil to let them know that uh, what is more important. There's some, there's some, although they say life is too, there's there are some things that are really more important than life. That Sorry, day, I have, say, a, I have a question though. Yeah, uh, is there? I, I don't. I'm not sure if it's possible or maybe um, the petitioners they have. I mean, they got the letter, but did they communicate it? Specific, uh, specific time to them when the judgment will be delivered exactly. and when are, are they even arriving in court? I, I hear you. We don't close our guard. I don't know what you can't do. <laughs> we don't close. <laughs> we don't do exam finish. Resolve so, the court so, with the fear. So, so <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it should be a typical <laughs> Nigeria, maybe 10 o'clock <laughs> in the morning, maybe... See, can, see Niger watch. Niger watch. It cannot be we that eight o'clock. We don't stand for now. jam jam exam. The result they come with the with the shake. What the they shake for? Be. <laughs> because it's because our country is corrupt now. That's why. No, exactly. no shaking a two part way. If they not give us, everybody make it ready. Pack your load. Now two part way now. You know so they shake now. Nobody should I just, be afraid. I just I just hope the judgment is even going to be live. You know the way Nigeria do. They could record it and play it for you. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see. They, they, so, they, so, they could record. They could record it and play it. That's, that's an option. Yeah. So anyway, anyway, it might the not be because way, they said the they, they said way, they like, it. like it's like a bombshell. Oh. They can they, they, and that's that's possible too. That's possible for them to have said that people should stay at home. It's going to be televised. Maybe they see, even see. they already captured let, it. Let, let, let me say this. I've been hearing about this since. Look, if you look the mountain of. Fire where these judges go pass, eh? They come finally sit down and say, give her to Agbado. They know fit now. The whole world is watching them now. If people think it's easy, Nigeria no matter no they give to, to no demons make, to write make, to demons to write the result, it will never we, favor Agbado. If they want to do it that way, let everybody go his own way. That is the option now. They make Nigeria it easy. No, Nigeria no get shame. Do you know? Do you know up to today? <laughs> when I look at, you see, do you know what surprised me about Nigeria is that I don't know whether that because I'm so well, I wouldn't say I know too much, but at least I know a little. Do you know what? Do you know that up to this minute they are still saying Tinubu is meeting investors? <laughs> up to today. are we even sure that he didn't go to? Now, nah, but now, nah, but the sure spokesman now, nah, about <laughs> Now that in that in Gallery, I don't know the area right, of Nigeria since, income from. Since or since or don't come now, I go give you now. We don't give me don't give me that kind of love. Just say me me black man to run the run. I'm telling you, black man, black man that they come when everybody don't close. No, I say this man. This man, I the last my job was this now. Anytime like night the come. Now result time I will do now. You can enter anytime. Go check your result. Right. That's what we now. I'll leave the platform for you guys. Uh, everybody talk and go and sleep. But uh, please, everybody, give me five minutes. I said two minutes to quickly acknowledge my people in the comment section. So that will allow you guys to speak uh, fluently. I uh, want to quickly appreciate those of you that supported me again. Once again, Dr. Alexander Gomez is a one go. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all. Kingsley O'Gara here. Uh, Stella, I'm asking the love of God, my strength. Thank you. Thank you, my wonderful people. Amaka Fujabi. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you. And my people right there on the comment section, uh, Mr. Chris Dublin. I guess you'll be coming to the, see how they do the come every man will see the see the see the see the see the all of the way we do backyard before see all of the do they come one by one. Hey, eh? No best the like labor day with the labor day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Elvis, me, me, I come wonder see Madam Rita no you couldn't come join the panel, but she said no, right. Ma say, Madam Rita they yeah. comment. Now you say why she no come? I don't put the take injection. Oh God, you know, Chris, we want you here. I don't post them. All right, you thank you very much, everybody. Right, the mother of all mommy diaspora. I know you're always with us. We want Madam Rita here. He said, "Don't they run?" 
And if the commission yeah. bring a uh, black soup and the uh, and the uh, God will bless you, now. Mother Risha, Thank you. God bless you all, my wonderful people. All right, uh, my people, I will okay. end this particular broadcast in the next uh, one minute. Then, if you caught for your side, all you just need to do refresh from your television and continue with the people that is right here. Meanwhile, we have Oga Chris Docon. I see them. Eh? All of Nayo they back here they wash. Eh? All right, thank you very much, my people. The floor is yours, uh, Oga no, uh, Black Panther. No, 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 this is an American time. I eh? with an American session with then. Uh... European session don't they, don't end in American session <laughs> with <them. laughs> now they are, now they are morning be this Oga, all of Oga, them, Oga, me and me not let them use you if you, you don't say like you came here you did don't tell you eh but yeah they are they are doubling now now the same time with the use doubling are you no 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 uh, no you not night crawler last time you know the sleep ah doubling man don't come <laughs> <laughs> yeah, black powder you know you know, don't sleep. sleep. <laughs> Mommy, that's for her. Send me you carry on. Though. She don't write for comment section. She send me you oh. carry on. Mommy, Mommy that's for her. No, Mommy, that's for her. It's okay. Mommy, that's for her. Say Black Panther. Welcome to Mommy, the show. Mommy, that's for her. She send me to take over this, this show. They don't give me a uh, title now. They're the only way now. <laughs> it's, it's true. <laughs> we don't need to We don't need to fear. It's also the same. It's easy as... Uh, as um, uh, the, uh, our man, give us our man, he said, who's also the celebrator, because look, our conscience is clear. Everything that we have fought for was for the emancipation itself of the people. Now that judgment time has arrived and all evidence is on the table, and this is a mountain that, look, it's if if if, if you if, if you cannot climb those mountains because if you climb down, you're gonna fall down. So they are gonna fall down. So they either give it or they tell us, oh guys, you guys need to go a separate way. That is the only option I see there. So let them give up. We are ready. <laughs> we are ready to take it. Now we'll to, to for all of them. We are ready to take them on. <laughs> That's true. Um uh, I don't know whether Nigeria was still there. I, I was listening to him in the afternoon, and <laughs> and George, I believe, say, um, I hear you for afternoon. You say you're I worried do, you, and you, all those. You see, for me, eh, you have already done your part. Your own part of the agreement, like you said since last year, you have done and overlived your part of the agreement. I think that itself is a victory that you ought to celebrate. You've done the things that are under your control. However, the judgment goes, it's no longer in your control. You've played your role as a citizen. If the judgment doesn't go the way we expect it to go, the responsibility is left for the rest of Nigerians that are feeling the pain to do something. They have to do something that will ensure that they restore back their mandate. You have played your part. You made some promises and you kept to those promises, even on Christmas, on New Year, Christmas Eve, New Year Eve, you came out, you kept to your promises. So whatever the outcome of the uh, the tribunal is, you will have no control over that. Just like we don't have control over who our parents will be, who our brothers will be. But the one you have control over, you've already done it. So you don't need to express any fear. You don't need to be worried. Because I listened to you in the afternoon and I felt some... You know, I, I completely feel how you felt. So it's the same thing, all of us, the way we are all feeling. But you have really done what you wanted to do. You've won. It's a victory. And victory like that must be celebrated. And I was also very glad when uh, Mr. BBZ called in. And when he when he responded, when, when you were trying to say that you were waiting for other news channel so that you can verify. And he called in and told us that Exactly. The information we get from this station is as credible as it can be. Even CNN, if you listen to CNN, you see that sometimes they also dance to the tune of those that own the company, the Taiwana Group. But it is only on your channel you allow everybody to express their mind the way it is. That is journalism at its peak. So in my view, this station can stand hand in hand 
shoulder to shoulder with any station anywhere in the world. See, just name any station in the world. It is only the station where people's view are not tuned to a certain direction. You give everybody a free will to express themselves. For this one year, even though you have your own, your own reservations, you have your own preferences, but you have allowed people to talk, allowed people to just say what they want to say. Despite the fact that your know, their thoughts or their wishes doesn't align, uh, do not align with what you expected. So that is it. That is what journalism ought to be. You have fought the good fight of faith like Apostle Paul. I think you just need to stay back and allow the rest people to do what they are supposed to do. People that are feeling the pain. Every one of us, we all have to come out. We have to come out and continue the fight if the judgment doesn't favor us. You should consider yourself a victor because in two days time, you would have you would have done that which you said you are going to do. And one day is already off. Today is already fifth. So on the sixth will come. It means you kept to your word, irrespective of the struggles, everything. You are in uh, Abu Dhabi. You are still filming and still continuing in this trajectory all for the love of your country. That on its own, Mr. Nanjaroj, is victory. And you ought to celebrate it. And you have every right to celebrate it, irrespective of how the judgment goes by uh, Wednesday. For whatever it is, I believe the judgment is going to favor us. But if it doesn't, we will rise and fight, no matter how they do it. Otherwise, like Black Panther said, this country, it cannot belong to a set of people. If they do anything, they look at look at the NYC, the for feature everything there. If they cannot get only one of them to give judgment to where judgment is supposed to go, then Blanc Pata said it. We all go our separate ways. What kind of marriage is that that one person will be abusing the other? Is that a marriage? It's not. So, Mr. Nanjaro, I salute you. I doff my heart for you. In less than 24, 48 hours' time, you would have completed what you said that you are going to do. Thank you, sir. For a tight to now, Okai Bay of Nigeria Wahala. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Nanjaro. God will continue to bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I really I believe you, Okai Bay of Nigeria Wash. Thank you. The floor now, now, I know they call anybody, one of the corner self, one of the only be a big. Another thing I was going to say before on Wednesday, what are we going to consider as victory? Is it that if they say we should go for a rerun or if they disqualify Tinubu? For example, if they say rerun and they still allow Tinubu to be on the ballot, we can we consider that as victory? Also, I, I don't know. I'm just I was just thinking today when I listened to the afternoon broadcast, what will actually constitute a victory for Labour Party? Is it just I only think, a I think, I think, I think we should consider it as victory because this is the first time we'll bend the hand of every structure to add air to the voice of the people. But the only the only loop, the only um people they are trying to go through, it's going to be very tough to take somebody through that hole. Because once, if you say you want to do another election, then the question will now arise. Do they have all the, was it that, was it in the petition 